What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Nugs B, coming to you with my man, Matt Carter, from Ironton, Ohio, on Together FTR. What how you do? How you doing today, bro? You you chilling? I'm good, man. You man, out here, I'm son. Good. Blessed to be here. Good. Brother. I appreciate you having me. Long time overdue, Absolutely, bro. Long bro. time overdue. 100%. I mean, that's what we were talking about, that, bro, we got songs together, you know, like, we, we, all, all in the same group, same circles, all that, Facts. and haven't done an episode yet. And we were going to, um, the last time, but then, like, I stopped, you know, and yeah, then, yeah. like, I had, dude, I mean, like, Genuinely, I probably had like two or three months booked out, and you were one of the people that was on the list. Like, I remember we already locked everything in, like, we were gonna do it. And then, like, I think we tried to link up one time, and like, you had something come up, like, something happened or whatever. Something, 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 something on my end, I forget what it is. We tried multiple times, we did, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. It just didn't, yeah. like, hey, but look, baby, we here. We That's here, all that matters, you know was, what I mean? You know, we here now, we're gonna make the most of it 100%. Um, but yeah, like I said, we in this bitch. Y'all already yeah, know, bro, man. Come yeah. on now. Appreciate you having me. We absolutely, here. absolutely. We together, FTR. So with Matt Card in the building. Yeah. So the first thing we're gonna go into is my man's music. Yeah. So the first thing from the jump, I'm gonna link you all to his music and uh, and like it, it'll typically be on Apple Music, but the thing is that it's on all platforms. So like all the platforms. link, I can link it to the YouTube or whatever. We'll figure all that out, and I'll put it on the description of this episode. So make sure to go tune in. Check my dude's shit out. Uh, I was just bumping them. Me and my brother were bumping them before he got here. Mm-hmm. And the rain, bro, like I was telling you, that shit was cold, like, for real. One of them, one that of, shit was cold. One of them tracks that you don't think is going to be something, you know, but you you, you just want to put an emotion out and a vibe to it. And I just put it out. I think it was on an EP I dropped on my birthday last year, September 5th. Yeah. Uh Three records on there, bro, but shoot, Bruce went on there and he laid down some guitar on it with samples. That's what's cold. up. That's, all, that's always, it's, al- Bruce. it's always dope. Yeah, shout out to Bruce for real, man. You're going to have to get up in here with us, bro, like Definitely. 100% very soon. Um, but it's always really dope to incorporate other things in your music, even if we're just rapping, bro. Like even with, for example, like Aerosmith, man, like I was watching this interview with Steven Tyler and he was talking about how they were using I don't I can't remember what instrument it was but it was like a it was a uh, like a tambourine essentially but it broke so when they were playing the shit you know like recording the the record uh, it broke in the middle and they kept that in the song really? people who don't do music don't realize little dumb shit like that is so cool to do man like oh, yeah. think about how many times somebody be in the back like we do this like me and my brother always bro whenever he's recording I'm always talking shit in the back like before he starts or we'll say some dumb shit uh, if it's dope we end up keeping it bro like you know what I mean like sometimes, sometimes like it works like that some shit just doesn't always be you know you're not always planning it you yeah. know what I mean and it, sometimes it just works out like that if it's dope it's, it's organic dope. Yeah, like you know this shit I mean? is just and organic, bro. It's crazy. So a tambourine broke in, huh? Yeah, bro. It, it was. It, I don't know if it was a tambourine. It might have been a maraca. I don't know what it was, but it was like a shake, like percussion type of instrument. I remember that much. Um, but dude, so fucking cool, man. So fucking cool. Uh, but also, like, what I was getting to with the point I was making is like incorporating other things into rap music like laying it at, laying down a guitar or like yeah. you could just be making a beat or you could be beatboxing or you could be doing anything that organic feel of working in the studio with somebody uh for us has been in rooms and it's been in closets and fucking garages you oh, know yeah. what i mean like I've, I've i've done them everywhere, everywhere. bro you know what i'm saying kitchen, like, you know, for real matter. kitchens bro you know, i've like, definitely done we, it we, to be able to record some of the extra instruments you're talking about now, like to be able to get to the studio that we have access to in Ironton, uh, bro, it's crazy. So to be able to record them instruments, you know, like the guitar or some drums, you know, some not just not just some shit you're just putting on the keyboard and just you know electronically, like yeah. you know, just some shit you can actually pick and it come through clear, bro. And you that's, know what I mean? That's the like, biggest thing too is not only the space. But, like, uh, that's why I don't have my drum kit here. I got a drum kit, bro. Uh-huh. It's at my brother's crib. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I would love nothing more than to be using that shit. You play drums? Not really. But, like, I can kind of do some you shit. You know what I mean? I like, play, I'm, he's a drummer. You okay. know what I mean? Like, he's the drummer. So I was going to have him lay shit down. Yeah. But then I was like, you know what? We don't even have room to record. I got I got drum, uh, drum mics and everything. I got the, everything to record it, bro. Really? Like, I got the whole setup over at his house. We just haven't had the time to sit down and, like, 
you know, and we don't have the space over here, so it's going to have to be like a planned thing that's going to be like an all-day thing, you know, like, it's hard to find time. You know how it is, bro. Sure. And the thing is, is like, excuse me, uh, but with the drum kit and all that shit, when you're incorporating that in the music, man, it just makes it more fun and it builds a different, like, rapport between you and the person. Because Definitely. Definitely, well, that's de that's one of like the, that type of creation. Straight up, you know, because we I used to go when there's still times I still go in there and just drop the beat and record. Yeah. you know what I mean. But just then, just to fuck around. But yeah, just you know. But then now going into like let's take some of this out of the beat and like literally bind the beat mm -hmm. because some people just go drag a beat and you can't even put that on all platforms. You're gonna nah, get flagged, and you know yeah. what I mean. Like not only I gotta that. go, I gotta go buy it. So then to be able to say like I want to take out Bruce to take out the drums in this whole second verse. Yep. That's why you have to have stems for yeah, people yeah, who don't yeah, know. You have yeah. to have the stems. And when I, you that, send beats, comes, you got to have the yeah, stems, and that comes bro. Along, along with the experience in it, yep, you know? it does. And, and, and I wish somebody would put me on game when I was young. Facts. Like, both of us. Like, Facts. you know, I wish somebody would put us on game, bro. But the game changed. Like, it changed, I remember, like, man. really, like, at a pivotal moment when I was really grinding with this music, bro, like, 2015, bro, people were still handing out demos. Straight up. I was handing out first CDs in 2015, you know what I mean? bro. What the fuck you mean? Let's go. And streaming was just going in the game. So, yep. for real, like, what... Held me back a lot, bro, for real, was, like, figuring out that lane of, like, is it still physical hand-to-hand? -hand Straight up. Or how it's different. Or how powerful are these streaming bro. platforms? It's different, bro. It is. It's and different it, now. And it, it's fun. I'm glad you brought that up, man. That brings me to a great point, or like, you know, a great tangent pretty much, man, because, like, there's still people to this day that have my CDs that I burnt in probably... 2013, 14, 15, 16. That's crazy. Like, straight up, bro. Like, I could call some motherfuckers or put a post on Facebook, and I guarantee people will post pictures of them, bro. You think that can connect more? I feel like back then it did because I was handing them out to everybody. Everybody had CD players. Cars are different now, bro. My fucking, some cars don't have CD players anymore, bro. Facts. My shit's got, uh, 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 the car I got right now, it's got one, but the other one I had didn't. Like, it didn't have maybe, a CD player. Maybe, Bluetooth only, bro. Maybe it was just like the face-to-face -face with people. It was, bro. Instead that of, organic. like, sharing that That's link. all it is. Yeah, bro. It's like... You're getting to see me in my face. That's why music videos do better than your actual records, especially if you're facts, underground, facts. because they see who the fuck you are. Same thing with the podcast. I can release this audio, get 20 views, bro. Drop the video on these bitches, we pull in views. You we know what I mean? Them. Like, so it's it's just completely different on how things are set up, man. Because people want to see you in your face, bro. Like, it ain't nothing on a music video if you do it to get a thousand easy. For but sure. when you doing it on a regular song on yeah. YouTube, yeah, bro, that that's next level. Like that, that means it, it, it is you for the underground. That, that means I mean, yeah, I mean, like but, local shit. Like but, you know, you know, what do what you do type. But to shit, still like, get a thousand just off of audio consistently, that's, bro, that's that's, 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 that's that's pretty cool, bro. Like, and that's really a good move. Like if you're like that's when you know you're really doing something. If you're yeah. getting a thousand views on every song you drop or more on YouTube, bro. Yeah. That's when you out because here. Because them platforms, them streaming platforms, you know, like you know, Apple Music, Spotify, that that's 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 all fudge the numbers and it shit. It is. It's collective so too, it's, bro. Yeah. It's very like rounded and I mean, shit. I mean, I guess like, it's going to be YouTube too, but you know, kind of yeah. But I feel like YouTube's more. Maybe I guess we're just optimistic about it. You know, we're like, we just believe in YouTube because like, that's how we started. That you know is, what I mean? Bro. Like we might, we might, we're just like error, bro. Yeah. Like I think we're just kind of like comfortable with YouTube. So we right. trust it more, <laughs> but in the same time, it seems to me as if that is more reliable for your actual uh, fan base and your audience. No, I feel like for what we're know? trying to do, it is. Yeah, it, it really is, is man. Is. And, and, the st and the stuff like in the face, man, like I said, these podcasts and shit doing like, and it sucks because shows around here, man, like, you know, it's hard to get people to come out, man. People don't want to come out because they want to sit here and, you know, they, they don't want to come and support a motherfucker who's trying to do his thing because, for one, maybe they're broke. For two, maybe they don't want to see you doing what they can't do or making something happen. Whatever it may be, it's hard. It's, get, it, it's so tough to get the show scene around here to really do something, man. But I would love nothing more for it to happen. I feel like if we work hard well, enough, we might be able to. I think to. so. I think so, too. That's what we plan to do with, you know, November 26th. November 26th, My baby. nigga DJ sounds good. The hottest DJ in the tri-state. Let's go. He, you know, he going up with it. He said, Mac, this to play. And threw me the, threw me the alley-oop, you know, so yeah. I'm trying to come through. And we're trying to come through with a slam dunk, yeah. you know, right before right before the buzzer. You right dig what I'm saying? Baby. Off the backboard. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to change the whole <laughs> narrative, you know what I mean? And for people to say, you know, if you don't want to support, it's cool. But if you're going to, you know, if you ain't, you know, that do your thing. But we're going to be doing this November 26th. November 26th. That's what it is. It's literally all fucking day, too. All that's day. That's what's so all cool. All day. All day. Food it starts trucks, at 11 a.m.? 11 a.m. Food trucks Bro, is going to be out there. 
I'm gonna post a uh, picture and the link to if there's an event bright. I don't know if he's made one yet or whatever it may be. Uh, but you can get tickets. You can get tickets at me. I got them. Okay, on, okay, I got okay. them on Boom. deck. I, I'll plug and that. You, and, you gotcha. can, and you can get the tickets at the at the day of. So okay, that be at the door. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. And where's it gonna be at? At the Rone Theater on That's Ironton, what's Ohio. Up, man. Hell yeah, Ironton, Ohio, baby. So we're trying That's to change awesome. that whole scene. With, yeah, man. You know, it's, it, it, and and thing I feel is, like a lot of people just ain't seen it a lot. I think. That's area. a big part of it. That in really is, man. And, and not only is that a big part, but I feel like it's almost like every show that I've done, I've done plenty of shows too, man. And I feel like all of them, I feel the vibe is like everybody want to be like cooler than everybody or something. It's like, bro, we all out here the same fucking people, bro. We ain't facts, no fucking facts, different. Facts, facts, we facts. all doing the facts. same shit. We all got fucking day jobs. We all got fucking families and shit. Got a girl, whatever it may be. It seemed like a cool off. It seemed like, oh, I'm gonna flex on you. I, you know, I'm gonna act cooler, not well, try to talk to you or be cool. And, and that's, like, that's, 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 that's whack, bro. To, like, me, that, to, to that. me, that's whack too. And to me, that's why a lot of motherfuckers don't work with people with features. Too. Exactly. You know what because I mean? people like, are too egotistical. Like, like I'll man. feature with a lot of people. If the music's dope, I'll feature with it, bro. It ain't yeah. no ego. Well, we didn't even with know me, each other when we got on songs. Facts, you know what I'm saying? You know what like, I mean? we just so like, let's like, go, bro. I feel like for real, like low key, I might have featured with most of the majority artists in this area. Yeah, I've know what I mean? And dabbled in from from Charles. You probably featured with all of them. You know, Way more than anybody Ashley, around Portsmouth, here, bro. Everywhere. Yeah, everywhere, straight up. You know? so in, like, in, like, the collective from, like, Beckley to Portsmouth, bro, like, that big stretch of music, you're probably featured with more people than anyone around so. here. Probably uh, straight so. up. Probably so. You really have, bro. Yeah, you yeah. have bridged yourself straight up. Man, That's man, real talk. But to me, bro, I study it, though. I listen to everybody, bro. Got to. You, you got to listen, I mean? I ain't going to have to. I want to know. Who, you want to who, know. Whose record's hot? Who's cold? Whose record's who's hot? Cold, I want to know. Tell Straight me, because I want to hear it, and I want to see, like, damn, okay, if it is dope, damn, I'm trying to work. My thing I'm, is. That's, that's how I look at it. If it's 100%. Dope, I'm trying to work. That's my thing, too. I ain't going to hold it back. I take a couple few things from it when I hear somebody around here who got a dope record, bro. Yeah. I instantly think, damn, let's work, and then I'm like, Damn, bro. Like, I wish I would have. Like, if, if you can get me to be like, damn, I wish I would have said that, bro, yeah. it was locked in. All like, that, that, yeah, I'm, I'm fucking with you tough. Because that's like the most complimentary thing you can do to somebody. Like, for mm. somebody, if I'm like, bro, I wish I would have said what you said, you know, like, for sure. that makes you feel so good. For sure. And that's why I try to show that love to people, man. It, because if we, if, you know, negativity begets negativity, it feels, man. It feels Straight good up. hearing it as like a fan telling you that. That's so, true. So can you imagine yeah. hearing it from an artist? From an artist, that? Bro. Like, bro. A motherfucker like, who does it. Bro, I'll fuck with that record you got, bro. Fire. And it's not just saying, like, I fuck with your music, but when you can really say, nah, <coughs> this record. This one. This one. I, that's like, why I told you when you walked in. The yeah, rain, bro. Yeah, like, you know, straight like, up. Oh, damn, you really listening. Yeah, bro. That shit was nice. You know what I mean? Like, that was real dope. And the shit I showed you before we started, you said you fucked with it. You know, I'm about to drop that for real. So. Yeah, bro, you should. Music's music you should. coming back. You know what you I mean? Should. I've already been talking about it and telling everybody, but I'm going to wait. I'm not, I don't know how much long I'm going to wait, but I've got a bunch of songs on deck. But I'm going to release He's them. dropping it. He's dropping Yeah, I'm, I'm dropping Before baby. the end of the year? Bro, probably before the end of the month. There honestly. we go. There we you know go. what I mean? Like, there we I, go. I, you know, you hyped me up. You said it was dope, too. I was like, there yeah, we go. Fuck yeah, it, yeah. It's fire, bro. It's fire. Like, it's fire. It. The, beat, the, beat, the beat cold. Yeah. The hook crazy. And and the verses is like you in your pocket on the flow. Yeah, it was. Uh, I did 32. I just did two straight. I, yeah. didn't, I just went. I didn't even. Cut the hook into it. I just went 32 straight. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just straight through it and then drop the hook at the end, which is a little different than what I do usually. I try to structure my songs. Some, and that's, you know, that's, I like that too because the formula ain't always got to be nah, that same formula. It's always, I try to switch it up. A lot of, sh a lot of shit nowadays don't even have a hook. No, nah, it's like Somebody's one verse, up. one verse, done. Yeah, they're just going all like, the way through. Or, or going straight through. Yeah, right, they're going straight or through. Or doing one hook, you one verse, beat, one hook. You hear that beat? These niggas ain't even making hooks nowadays. That's real, bro. It's just like people a bridge. People, it's a bridge. People, it's not even a hook. Finding, it's a bridge. People are finding five to six good lines out of that whole song. And, and that's repeating what, it. And that's what's making that song. Dude, that's real shit. And that, like, XXX Tintantian. Is that how you say his name correct? I really didn't, Tintantian. I've been him at, at the I time. Tintantian. And, Tintantian. You know, so but. that song's sad by him. I know you've heard it. It's like a minute and 12 seconds, bro. And really? it's literally a hook, a verse, a hook. Really? Done. It might have a second verse, but I'm almost positive it's one verse, bro. No, that one has two. It's another one he has. But dude, one of his other bigger hits, man. Like one verse done. What's that one? Um, 
the one whenever Takashi Six Nine came out, bro, and he was popping that song Billy. Yeah, remember yeah, that? Yeah. That was one verse. Yeah, you know what I'm one saying. One verse, bro. A lot of people went like, like that, triple bro. platinum, and then like, like went that. diamond with it eventually. A lot, like, a lot, a lot of people in the game are like that, bro. It's crazy. Dude. You know, you don't really need a hook now. It's like if that uh-huh. beat snaps and you got some cold lines in yep. between and it's, that it's, flows that shoot, run it, it. it. It's really cool to watch the evolution of of rap and hip hop kind of merge together because I feel like for years they were truly. Uh, synonymous, but they weren't, you know what I mean? Like, they kind of were parallel, but there was, you could tell the difference between rap and hip-hop, bro. There was a difference to the shit. And okay. now, I feel like it's kind of just formed into this one thing that's more about the sound than it is the substance. I think producers are getting a lot more credit now. Yeah, that's real. You think know, about all the people that are having their tags in the beginning yeah, of the beats, bro. Uh, DJ Mustard. Lot, they're getting a lot more uh, credit, and I, all think, of them, bro. I think that's why, like, Metro but, Boomin. You know what I mean? Back I then, you didn't, people look at it like, don't give a fuck about the producer. They don't give a fuck. The, the unless rap, it's Dre. Like, you know what I mean? You like, know, you like, unless it's Dre or you fucking, you know, somebody like that. Like, Just Blaze, you know. Nobody that, knew about Scott Storch until like three years you know ago, what I mean? bro. Like, you want, like, Swiss nobody fucking beats, knew. They weren't giving them nah, that like, Hell no. Motherfuckers know Swiss Beats off of certain Swiss Beats records with him and DMX before Lil they know Wayne about the Wayne and before shit. They, before like, they know about the beats. But exactly. Look how many this beat season Timberland has produced. Bro, that's another thing that brings me up. You fuck with Russ? I fuck, I fuck with his mentality and how he's trying to, bro. how he leverages himself in the game. Not only that, that motherfucker makes his own beats, bro. Does he? He makes all his own beats. Like, I'm sure he co-produces with people sure. and composes and, like, reaches out. Dude makes all of his own beats. Suicide Boys do, too. The uh, the one dude, I don't know. That's my girl hard. likes him. I That's can't. Not. She likes their music a lot. I don't I, really fuck with them. But they're tight, and they make their own beats. And they, bro. Suicide they, the, Boys make their own beats? Yes, bro. Yes. They the, All their samples and shit, bro. Like, they get bro, all that themselves. My girl, my girl put me with Suicide Boys. So do mine. I, I, I fuck with them, though. So, yeah. I, they're, yeah I mean, yeah. I ain't gonna, you ain't gonna, they, they're going to be my phone. I ain't bumping them. I ain't bumping them unless she wants to, bro. I'm going to be real. All right, all right, right. I ain't bumping them. I'm bumping, like. But different if, shit, bro. I mean, if it like, comes on, you know, I'm like... I'm gonna fuck with it because I'm, I'm their beats box. are cold, yeah, bro. You know, cold. It's all right. Like, it ain't bad. And I, I can't remember dude's fucking name. Scrim, maybe Scrim? I don't know. I don't know. I just know, you know. I'm, this know sounds like Suicide Boys. Yeah. This yeah. sounds like Suicide Boys. Yeah, but there's there's two records I like by them, and they made both of those beats, and they were fucking cold, man. Because she put me on game to them. I had heard them because I listened to Lil Peep when he first came out. I fucked with him tough. And they ran together, did shows and shit. I think they went on tour, maybe, like, are yeah. similar. Maybe they opened for each other or whoever did was bigger at the time, whatever the fuck. Um, but I've been on Lil Peep shit, so, like, I had heard them back then. I was like, man, you guys are whack, dude. Like, they sound like Lil Windex or something, bro. Like, I can't even fuck with this. But they've grown on me because she bumps them. She really likes them. So I well, listen see, to them. I didn't, you know hear, I, didn't hear, I didn't hear their older shit. But that just, the older that, shit's all right. It's but, not bad. But that just goes to show staying down with it's it, bro. Not, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, with it, bro. You know, consistently, too. Yeah, and like I said, it wasn't terrible because, like, they got some dope bars. I feel like it's their flow that fucks me up because yeah. it's so choppy, but yet it's, like, almost, like I said, it reminds me of Lil Windex, bro, that song that he made, that fucking goofy-ass white dude with the glasses. He sounds familiar. He, bro, he was a stupid dude. He, he, but, I mean, he got, you know, I think he ended up getting a deal or something, but he made this one song, and it was real, like, fast and choppy, and every time I hear Suicide Boys or uh, the other dude was named Ghost Mane, maybe, or something. He's, like, in that kind of vibe, too. Mm-hmm. And uh, every time, I, I just, that's all I hear. I just hear that same, like, repetitive, like, almost yelling, chopping over a hard beat, you know? So, but I got to give them their fucking flowers, bro, because those dudes, are they, they mean, did hell, fucking hell, uh, who, who, Coachella, or not Coachella, but uh, fucking, uh, uh, fuck, Rolling it. Loud. Yeah, they did yeah. that shit. Like, they've been doing big fucking festivals. Like, bro, kudos to them. Like, they're the dopest dope you ever smoked right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they're killing they, it, bro. They got about 45 seconds out this interview. Yeah. We're talking yeah. about them. Believe that, bro. Yeah. People who are, who are listening, you know? they, they, they And some people like, who the hell? Up. That's what I'm saying. Some people yeah. like, who the hell Suicide Boys? I know yeah. some of my niggas ain't like, who the hell Suicide Boys? Yeah, for real. Yeah. But they're actually pretty dope, they're man. All right. They're, they're all right. They're all right. They're, all right. Know, they're really not bad. All right. So, bro, it's so crazy. Like, we literally just went on a crazy tangent. We ain't even on the entertainment history yet, bro. We're just out oh, here. You already know. We out here, son. That's how it goes, bro. That's how it fucking goes, baby. So, for entertainment history today, before I start with this, I just want to remind people who are maybe just now tuning in, uh, definitely go link, uh, uh, lock in with my dude, Matt Carter, for and sure, I'll link sure. the thing on the uh, description on this or whatever. Also, November 26th, starting, I'm pretty sure it's at 11 a.m. Yeah, yeah. Do you have the picture? Or actually, November 26th, 11 a.m. That's the it starts 12th, for sure. Okay. Starts at 11 a.m. Awesome. And it's... At the theater, right? At the Rone Theater. And, and what's the address? You know the address on it? I don't know the address, but you pull up going down Third Street, okay. 
So you get off the bridge, turn Third Street. You gonna see. You gonna see. It's gonna be going up. Gotcha. Ironton, Ohio, November 26, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. And Your boy gonna be setting it off. Rob Pimp, uh, Click, L.A. They gonna be doing their thing. My homie Kwame gonna be doing his thing. I got all, all the homies. All the all the homies. All the homies. All the homies. Bro, all the homies. Gonna be all mad homies. people there, man. That are dope. Dope artists. Braxton. Yeah. Nick, yeah. Braxton gonna be there too. He gonna yeah, be, there. Gonna be there. People from West V. They gonna be yeah. there. My homie Maul gonna be there. We so, gonna shut it down, bro. So I got the address. It's three one zero South Third Street, Ironton, Ohio, eleven a.m. to midnight. And yes, my sir. man's headline. He going. Yes, you know, he, he setting it off. Yes, so y'all gotta go show him some love. But, I'm gonna be out of town that day. I'm gonna be in Lexington. But next show, you already know I'm catching. I already know. 100%. I already know. You gonna catch the recap? Hundred percent. It's gonna be crazy. It's I'm gonna excited. Be crazy. Man. And the thing we is, we going too, up with a live band too, bro. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I would say there's the hell of people. We going up with a live band, bro. We oh. got. We going up with a live band. That's dope. It's the first time I've ever had a live band, that's, like a full bro, band. That's you know, next level. Drums, that's guitars, next level. keys. Kudos to you. You know bro. what I mean? So we really going. You to should get, really be proud of yourself for that, because that's next level for a fucking it's, rapper, it's, bro. It's hard. It's, 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 it's hard work, you that's know. But hard I'm trying. Work. I'm trying to P Diddy it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Master P it. You already you know. You know what baby. I mean? Rick James it. Straight up. Let's you know what I mean? Go, I'm trying to really entertain with it. You that's know, fucking, and get, and get this music across. So cool. Bro. That's how, hey, and that's really what I'm I didn't even know that, bro. Like that's fucking awesome. And that's what we were talking about. You know, just going hard and making motherfuckers appreciate it to be like, you know what? I got it. You got to be so dope. You're undeniable. You got. You can't look if you can't deny me that I'm dope. You, you gotta fuck I mean? with me and a little bit, because, like, and it's not on no cocky shit. But no, nah, it's but, confident. But in this it's game, confident. in this game, you gotta walk yeah, like that. You gotta, be, you, you gotta, gotta be, walk like that, and you gotta talk like that. If you, you ain't gonna be like that, ain't nobody gonna fucking hear you. You know what I mean? Like unless you're that dope. That's, but ain't yeah. nobody care about no shy rapper. No, no. Oh, <laughs> bro, that's what brings me to the thing. Back to the producers. I know I, I'm supposed to go to the entertainment history. Fuck it, we'll get to it, bro. I don't <laughs> care. Like I don't even. We all. You got me. You got me on tangents, dog. Like for real. So, bro, the producer thing. Who do you think, because I've already got the dude, I think, that really set that shit up for producers to really have credit. Who would you say? Who do you think, when you think back, the first producer that was really getting mad credit out here? In our area or just in the game? In, in the game. Like, when it started in the music industry, bro. It, it was in... I'm Tom. Uh, uh, probably say... Maybe Jay Diller? Yeah, see. Yeah, that's true. I was thinking way more recent. Yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. I would, like, because you got to think, like we said, bro. Until recently, producers weren't really getting love like that. I'm talking about the person who was the first person to start really like blowing that shit up, and then everybody started. I getting think producing. I think that like really like a crazy mainstream success success was probably Mustard. See, I was gonna say Young Chop because Young Chop was before him, bro, and Chief Keef shit was blowing up. Yeah, you're right. You get you're what right. I mean? Yeah, you are right. You're right. The, sh the but, Chirac but, shit, bro. You're, you're that right. was you're fucking right. next level. Young Chop on the beat, bro. He was right. Like you're right, but I think I I just think with Mustard because you are right. He did come out before him. Mustard, but Mustard said Mustard, it way different. Yeah, he put it all look, the way look, out there because, on, on be, pop because shit. Chief Keef took it too far. You're right. He's, he's you out you here. know what he's I mean? Here, YG bro. did, little, but he dabbled. Yeah, but he wasn't. He was out here. Bro. You know, YG's like, hey, I got a plan. That's real shit. You know what That's I mean? Real so shit. that, but you're right. You're right. Uh, I think was the, it Young Chop. Young Chop. Yeah, yeah. Young his, Chop. his shit was slapping too. Dude, and he used his to do, fucking. He used, to, he, used to, he used to do a little Dirk shit, didn't he? Little Dirk, little yeah, Reese, yeah. all the Chicago rappers, King Louis, bro. Like he was mm -hmm. on that shit, man. And I think truly, uh, he was the first person to really start like pushing the tags on to artists, man. Yeah. Like letting that shit stay. Yeah. Young Chop on the beat. Yeah. You know, like I think that was the skyrocket. Not the skyrocket. I'll say that was more of the peak. And then DJ Mustard was the climax. You know yeah, what I mean? Like yeah, that's yeah. a motherfucker. Yeah, that's, really yeah, now this is that's not, the peak. Now yeah, now this is the standard. That's the, exactly. Yeah. He set the standard, yeah, bro. Yeah. That I like I really do, man. Young Chop, I can't think of anybody else who was in the yeah, game. Like that was you would hear their fucking tag, it's you know, right. like it really wasn't. But yeah, so we gonna get into the entertainment history finally, because you know we out here just bullshitting. You already know. So in 1987, Sony reaches an agreement to buy SBS, no CBS, my bad records, which includes Columbia, Portrait and Epic for two billion dollars. Artists on these labels include Michael Jackson, Barbara Streisand, Bob Dylan, Billy Joel, and Bruce Springsteen, putting Born in the USA in the hands of a Japanese company. Mm. How crazy is that, bro? For two billion dollars, two billion, Sony reaches an agreement to buy CBS Records and sold it to a Japanese camp and, company. And, and also, for two. which includes Columbia, yeah, and Portrait and Epic. This is like next level shit. You know what I mean? Like for real. Like this is fucking. 
And when, 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 nineteen eighty seven. Nineteen eighty. That's when they. That's the year my brother was born, bro. They had they they seen what hip hop was going to do. <clears throat> Real shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, they got Michael Jack. They, most of the shit that they uh, yeah Sony Sony I feel like because it, you know well, Michael not Jackson, even just hip hop but just like the culture what it was doing. Oh yeah, bro. You know what I but mean? Michael How Jackson, big it was growing. Michael Jackson was a big ass influence on hip hop though. You know what I mean? So they got facts, the facts. they got the catalog, bro. Yeah. Like. When you get that fucking catalog, that's real shit, you know. My dude Joey just walked in here. Yo, my up, dog, bro? How you my doing? dog, yeah. my dog. We doing the music history, but my dog just you walked in know. here. You, you see, he walking know. in with the camera. Uh, look at him. It's my people, boy. Yeah. My shooter. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, man. And plus, like I said, you know, you got Billy Joel on this shit, Bruce Springsteen. These are some of the, you know, next level shit that you're doing, man. Yeah. Like, these are next level artists who, like, changed the game forever. And then Sony. Comes through, bro. Two fucking billion and drops buys all. Just drops the bag on them. Bill, baby. Drops the bag. I mean, drops the bag on them, bro. Gets all these records because you got to think that's not only including the bands that they have with them. That's the solo shit too, man. They buying the whole catalog that's for crazy, two billion bro. dollars, bro. That's crazy. In nineteen eighty seven, bro. And that's then crazy. actually, I should have read that's this one first. It was in eighty five. In 1985, LL Cool J releases his debut album, Radio, which was a fucking hit, bro. People I can't sleep live without on my LL, radio. Bro. They sleep on him, bro. Straight up. I mean, he got, he got, he got, he got, he, he got records for sure. LL, LL was that dude, bro. He really was. I think yeah, he he's did. Cool. He's a good he did, actor too, bro. He, he did numbers. He did numbers in yeah. for sure. I think he got he got in the uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, didn't he? It said on. I, I'm not 100. percent I'm pretty sure he did. He did because Eminem performed. Yeah, that I was think, recent. Yeah, That's yeah. Really right. You know, he getting his flowers. Yeah, he bro. Getting you his flowers. Know. And it says uh, the first album ever issued on Def Jam Records. That's who we started with, Def Jam. Mm. And it goes platinum and makes LL the first solo act on par with reigning rap kings, Run DMC. Damn. So they was the only motherfuckers at Def Jam that was. They went platinum. It didn't, go, uh, it didn't do double platinum if the first or whatever, but I'm sure it did. You but know. to go platinum back in them days, you're doing. Fuck, come bro. on now. What's, okay, so let's see. <laughs> let's see exactly how many records records you yeah. have to fucking sell, not streams, not bro. Streams. We're talking CDs, bro. You got to go to the fucking block to get this shit. You had you to gotta hit the store. You had let's to see. wait in that line. <laughs> you know, back Literally, in them days, yeah. bro, you had to wait in the line. I swear, bro. Motherfuckers might get in a fight. All right, so let's see. That's when that's when that's when the bitch was passing out in line. Five hundred thousand units. So that's five hundred thousand wow. he sold with his debut album in nineteen eighty five, bro. Wow. We're talking the era of like fucking Bon Jovi and like Poison and shit and like all this other shit. Rap wasn't even you know you had NWA before that, but like rap wasn't even big yet, and he's selling five hundred thousand fucking units, bro. He was marketable. Very marketable. You're absolutely <laughs> right. You're absolutely he was right. marketable. That just ladies love cool James, no bro. Now. Like no you know, now. like <laughs> motherfuckers don't even know. Ladies love cool For James. Real. You know? That's crazy though, man. Fucking but, 1985 platinum. But I was watching some shit on Drink Champs the other day, bro, and they was talking about how love like Drink they, Champs, bro. they had everybody like a Right. And them times rap was just like appealing to everybody. Then yeah, it's like Ma- you remember Mark Wahlberg fucking Marky, rap. Mark and the Funky you know, Bunch, bro. I already rap, know, bro. Like, bro. What the fuck, back. bro? You remember that song that Deion Sanders had? No, he no. made a record, bro. The fucking prime time, prime time Deion real? Sanders, bro. Damn, fucking Roy Jones Jr. had one. I remember, no, Royce was hard. Royce was hard. Bro. Royce was. Hey, Look, who else Can't had one? Touch? Was yeah, that? can't be touched. That's what it was. Yeah, straight up. Hey, uh, AI Ro- had one. Roy AI was with shit. He had Roy a couple of ready, ready, ready to fight a motherfucker, bro. Believe that, bro. Shit. That's real talk, man. Roy nah, Jones uh, Jr., bro. Yeah, Shaq, Shaq had records, you know? Bro, Shaq had records with everybody. Everybody. Method Man, Biggie, fucking, uh, who else in the wood? He had one with the RZA. I think him and Method Man and the RZA all did the same record. Did he have one with Pun? Bro, he might. I, gotta, I think he did. I, I can't stand up. the rain. I, I gotta, think it was. Bro, I gotta look it up. I think you're fucking right. Yeah. Holy I shit! Shaq features. Let's see what's up. Let me see here. This podcast is about the culture. You already. We're know talking the culture. Shit. I'm out here tripping. Let's see. So, the one song he had, uh, "Can I Rock?" You remember that? What's up, Doc? You remember that? I think so. Far dude, that was a fucking hitter for real, man. Yeah, dude put out four studio albums. Let's see. Two compilation albums and two soundtracks, bro. Shaq Diesel. Superman. Superman. The soup for real, bro. Super, super this motherfucker super. is the real deal. Super. Let's see here. Albums. I'm trying to think. They were on Jive. He made his own label, too. And then he did some shit with uh, Interscope, bro. He built his own label, too? He built his own, his own fucking label, bro. Shaq is out here. 
That man ain't playing. Hell no. That man ain't playing. He a DJ, too. Yeah. Yeah. Essential lighter, brother. Yeah, okay. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Uh, so, No Hook, RZA, and, the Meth- and Method Man. And then you got, You Can't Stop the Rain. That was with Biggie. Yeah, yeah. That was with that, Biggie. Yeah, that was, that was, and that, then that was you, whipped. That was fire, for real, bro. And then you got uh, Men of Steel with Ice Cube, Be Real, mm. Peter Guns, not Corey Guns, nah, Peter Guns, yeah, bro, and KRS-One. And KRS-One? And KRS-One, bro. That's Come wild. on. That's wild. And then he had, oh, bro, I didn't even know he had this feature. That's fucking next level. So this one uh, connected with WC and Nate Dogg. That's fucking fire too. I'm not trying to dis- you know disregard that or play yeah. it down. But the next one, In the Sun, featuring Common, Black Thought, and Joy, bro. Black, Black Thought's Thought. one of my favorite fucking bro. Tariq. Black Thought, bro. Fucking flame. The Roots, bro. Listen, fucking so, Quest Love. So I, I hope I hope there's some younger younger generation, some younger kids that hear this interview and, and, and come on, y'all bro. need y'all need to tap in with you the gotta culture. Tap in with you the know, roots, see bro. see where it started from and these names that he's talking about that we've been talking about. Come on now, because you know what I mean, like. There's they, plenty of names we just dropped that people These, 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 these names that they're dropping nowadays is GOAT status. Like, nah, come on. on level, bro. Come on. So then he's got, you were right, he did have one with pun. Extortion by Fat Joe, Shaq Diesel, and Pun, yeah, bro. Pun. I didn't even know they had a song together. I felt like I kind of did a little bit, but at the same time, I, I totally blanked on it, man. Like, yeah. for real. And then he's got one with uh, Lil Jon. And then he's got one with the, Little John had a run too. Dude, he did he, run, bro? bro? That motherfucker reigned for a minute. The Yin Yang Twins. And the Eastside Little Boys. John, the, you already well, know. Hit him with the gasoline. You already fucking he know, baby. Can. You already fucking he know. The gas bro. Can. He was on Annie Milanaka's show. You remember that you ever watched Annie Milanaka's show? I watched him a little that bit. That was my I shit, him bro. A little bit. He was like, hey, he he was in the video. Little John was on the TV and. Uh, Andy Milnakis was eating like fruity pebbles and shit out of like this big ass mixing bowl. He's sitting in his uh, living room and Lil John crawls out the TV with a big fucking like the crunk cup that he had, like the pimp juice and shit. All oh, that. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. He's like, that. hey man, what are you doing? Like before he climbs out, he's on TV. He's like, what are you doing? He's like, eating fruity pebbles. <laughs> he looks at him, he's like, what are you doing? What you gonna do? He's like, probably just keep eating. He's like, can I come out there with you? And he crawls out, bro. And then he goes, he's like, and then like it flashes, like it fucking pans to the other side, and he's just eating pretty pebbles with fucking Andy Bielanakis just being weird, bro. Like, completely off Lil the John. fucking thing. But Lil John was random as fuck. And really, for the club shit, like the early 2000s, bro, there was nobody who was touching his records. No, bro, he said it all. He, Him, Jeezy. I mean, and then, um, and then, and then. And then, and then, bro, Jeezy, yeah, bro. But, 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 bro, but, bro, but for Little John, to have the nerve to get on Lovers and Friends? That's real talk. That's real talk. You know, that's like, couple, talk, that was the king of crunk. That's real talk, yeah. That was the king of crunk. That was next level, bro. And then get, on some, in the and then get on some R&B. That's real shit. You know? That's and that's, that record still, everybody gonna throw yeah. that on now sometimes when you come <laughs> on now. Shit. That's crazy, bro. Who else reigned in the clubs? Pitbull, of course, but oh, I was down. He'll still reign in the clubs still with. today. He will, bro. <laughs> that's real talk. The same. That's real talk. One person who reigned in the club that I talked about like maybe two, three episodes ago or some shit, fucking 50, bro. 50, uh, 50 reigned 50, in the 50. fucking club, bro. Bro, he, got, he like, got, For real, he, for real. He took over the game, bro, yeah. with, with having his own In the game. club, he Disco had, Inferno. He, he had his own He had his own video game. Mm-hmm. Bro, Bulletproof. He bro. had two. He had Bulletproof and then the other one. And, and then, Enter New York or some shit. And then on this game, he had his own music on the game. Yeah, yeah. Bro, that marketing was 100%, crazy. bro. And that, that, and I'm gonna ask you what you think, bro. Be, let me. What's your best debut album from any rapper? Debut album. What's the best one you think, bro? Like, and not from a. That's tough. Not from a favorite standpoint, but you think it was the best for somebody to drop. Like, if you could be objective about it, which one would it be? Man, that's tough. Because I got like three. I can't even name just one, it bro. Have, for real. Yeah, get Richard I Trines on Period. there. Period. Every time I throw <laughs> that know, one out there, bro. That's on there. Uh, it has to be. Damn debut, that's tough, bro. Who I'm gonna throw a doggy style. Facts. Snoop. Facts. Bro, doggy Facts. style is dope right now. Facts. You can bump doggy style right now, and we'll all be vibing, bro. Like that shit is fucking. I'm fun. trying. I'm trying to think. Yeah, that was his debut, that was yeah, his debut bro. Yeah, fucking doggy style. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. <laughs> that's next level, dude. Like I mean, he had records with that motherfucker, <clears throat> dude. You got to think, every single song on there besides the skits are all pretty fucking good, and then like ten of them are really, really good. It was a double sided CD. I'm pretty sure, bro. I'd say I'd say Kendrick had a good debut. Good, good kid. kid, Mad City. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. fuck. Damn, dude, I forgot about that. That was I'd really. That was really probably good. like for real, for real. Probably like the damn. last, probably like the last best debut. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. 
A lot of my that's the most recent best one. Yeah, that's, yeah. A lot of my friends had a lot no, of hype. What was what was J Cole's, bro? He, was that the one with workout? Was that that one? Uh, yeah, sideline story. That wasn't great. It wasn't great. It wasn't great. Yeah, and that's Born my dog. Sinners probably yeah. is, or, or 2014. 2014 yeah, 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 you that's, already know. That, that's baby. probably his best one. That, but Born Sinners right up there with it. Yeah, it is. It is. He, made, he made all them beats and shit, or co-produced all yeah. of them. Wrote all the records. Like, that's next level for a motherfucker to do these facts, days, man. Facts, like, facts. That's, why, that's, what, writers, bro. that's what got me in the end. I don't hate on people. Like, you, you know, if you got a dope but, record. But and, to and, me, I want you know. to take it as far as I can. So, Us. To, yeah. yeah. But I'm to, talking about, I don't think I would want somebody writing for me. But, like, if somebody else do it, I ain't going to hate on them. It is what it is. Shit, if I got, no, if I got the shit, come on, we writing. If I got shit, <laughs> let's I mean, like, I mean, we like, writing, bro. Here's, here, 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 here's the thing. If though. I get a Grammy. And I'm a household name. That's real talk. Do you know what but, I mean? But here's yeah, the thing I'm about up, it. I'm bringing up all my writers. The thing is, is it. like with, with <laughs> the writing shit, I'm speaking more on like a, a big ass level. Like now if we're doing shit with motherfuckers, I'm not, I don't want somebody writing their shit. Like uh, if I'm working with somebody, uh, but I'm talking more in the sense of like somebody who's really already but, fucking skyrocketed. But the game, the game don't even care no more, bro. No, when me call, when fuck. me called out Drake. Nobody gives a fuck, bro. On that kind of level. Yeah, the ghostwriting yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, you know, like yeah. nobody cares. So oh, fuck bro. yeah, nigga, I'll, I'll write a record get, now get with everybody. Yeah, we get, we, we can, me and you can sit down and write a record together. Together, bro. that's yeah. what I'm saying. And that's another thing. And Kanye especially, bro. Like, that motherfucker will give credit to the people that bring the water to the studio on his writing. You feel me? Like, that type of shit. That's right. So like, it's hard to... It's hard to like depict like what who actually wrote what and shit like that. So it's so different now, like you just said. It it's so different to even really understand who's writing I, what. I think it just matters what kind of coming out to the record. Straight you up, know, if the record's I'm with good, you, bro. It's good, bro. I'm with you, bro. Like real shit. So then the last thing on entertainment history today in 1990, Paul McCartney's birth certificate is auctioned off for eighteen thousand dollars. His birth certificate. His fucking birth certificate, bro. His literal government. Fucking slave debt that we have to all do when we are born and we get our birth certificate and we get our social security card that we are a slave that day. We Auction are a debt slave. Off. Period. He sold his fucking 18 G's, bro. Like, I wish I could get that much. You know what I mean? We out here yeah. just paying taxes to pay our shit. You know, we're paying our fucking share. 18 G's. Real shit. Like, I want another motherfucker that bought it. Yeah, that's for real, too. That's for real. Who the fuck is, who's got the, who got it fucking framed up in their house yeah, right man. now? Like on a fucking, in a glass case, his fucking birth certificate. That's Paul's. But, and, and this, bro, yeah. that's Pauly. That's Pauly right there, boy. So 1990, bro. I'll guarantee it's. I mean, I'll look it up, see how much it's worth today. I mean, I guess it's worth a fucking maybe quarter of a million, maybe or something. I mean, shit, dude. Paul McCartney's. You know, him and Ringo Starr are the only Beatles left. You know, like so. I mean, it's gotta be worth fucking mad money, man. Like, that's real shit. But it's crazy to think like there was another one that I had on the entertainment history. Uh -huh. uh, and it was like uh, it was like the shirt that Kurt Cobain wore on the MTV Unplugged, like his most the, the Nirvana's most notable one. And dude, it sold for like one hundred eighty thousand dollars. His what? like flannel that Courtney Love sold it, like his bitch that <laughs> probably killed him. You know what I mean? Like she sold it for one hundred eighty G's. But then it was actually it turned out to be a cool story because she donated all the money to their nanny who had cancer and shit. So, like, That's they paid for, like, hospital expenses with it. So, like, it wasn't, like, a dirtbag thing to do, but, like, she's a dirtbag. So, I mean, you if, know, she, like, if she murdered him, I don't You know what I mean? You know, I guess she was, she was trying to save face. Yeah, yeah, she was trying to save face a little yeah. bit. So, you know. But, Tried. yeah, I, I, thought that was, I thought that was pretty interesting as well. Not as much. Um. So, yeah, so next thing I'm going to do, man, and this is what I'm going to start doing again because on the past couple episodes, it's been – I ain't really been doing it, but I'm going to start doing Facts of the Day as well too, man. Like okay. just some random shit, bro, like because I've been looking through all these things and like, you know, with the podcast, like I tell everybody when they ask, what's it about? It's about music, movies, mm -hmm. and knowledge. Like that's what it's about. Those okay. are the th That's the theme of what this is. So I'm trying to put you on game on some shit. You know, these people are that's tuning dope. in. That's I'm dope. trying to – you know, and also I'm gonna nerd out. We're gonna talk shit. We're gonna sure. be stupid. We're gonna do whatever. We're gonna talk about music. We gonna cut like, up for sure. Yeah, like I'm a nerd for real though, bro. Like I love comics, bro. I got fucking yeah, you know cartoons tatted on me and shit. Yeah. Like I'm working on my own comic. Like I love anime. I love cartoons. Like all that shit, bro. Like I'm really into. It. Like right here, bro. This is tattoo from Harry Potter. What's it say? I must not tell lies. That's dope. When he gets punished, <laughs> yeah, the order I, of the I, Phoenix. I, I fuck with Harry shit. Hey, bro, we was watching Harry the, the other yeah, night. When you read the book, bro, have you ever read the books? No, I, okay. read, I read a little bit of the first one, but I, gotcha. you know, them books is big, bro. Yeah, Those I'm, I'm big reading Deathly Hollows right now, the last one, yeah. bro. So, in Order of the Phoenix in the book, bro, that bitch makes him do that for like six months. It's not just one time, like in the movie. Damn, bro. She, he goes to her office for six months. Mrs. Quidditch and yeah. shit, like 
All that, bro, and just has to fucking just burn into his hand, man. You know what I mean? I think I got bit by a spider, too. That's, that's, that's that. random. That's why I circled that right there. Because I think I got bit by a spider the other day. My hand was hurting like a motherfucker. I'm I was wondering what the circle was going yeah, with. Yeah, that, that's not the tattoo, bro. That's a fucking marker that I did this morning at work. Because I was like, damn, man, my hand kind of hurt. Hey, bro, that's a, that's a dope tap, bro. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate For it. For real. That shit hurt. I'm not going to lie. Hey, if you, if, you know, if you know, you know. Though. If you know, you know. People, yeah. like, when I'm at work and shit, I'm serving people, bro. They'll fucking, what some you, people will peep it. You know yeah. what I mean? They'll be like, oh shit, Order the Phoenix. Like, that's yeah, yeah. dope. And then some people that's ask. We, we, was, we were just watching that one the other night, weren't we? Was it <laughs> Order the Phoenix. We were just watching that. Like, that's literally. That's, that's my, crazy. That's my favorite movie, man. But my favorite book is probably Half Blood Prince, which is the sixth one. So that's like the one before. That's the one, that's the one my girl fucks with. It's fire, bro, for real. Uh, so here we go, man. I got more. More human twins are being born now than ever. What? So when I was looking at that, it had like this big article I was reading about it, man. And like that part popped out to me. More <laughs> twins, bro. More twins are being born now than they ever were. <laughs> That's ever. insane, bro. Fucking crazy. And the thing is, is like typically, you know, there's people in life who haven't like had the privilege to even like be around twins and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's weird to think yeah. about like that. When we were growing up, there was always like. One set of twins. They, for real? Maybe you, you ain't, in, you the ain't whole school. in the whole school. In the whole joint, In bro, the whole school. You got one set of twins. Maybe over in this city, you got another one. Maybe mm. two. You don't really have it like that. Bro, now, at my, at my kid's school, bro, there's like three or four sets of twins. Damn. Like, I'm pretty sure. At least three. That's crazy. At least three. That's elementary school, bro. Uh, 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 K through five, bro. I wonder what's up with that. It's weird. That is weird, man. I, I think honestly, and this is just like some real bro science, and I'm just gonna like, Go ahead. I'm just gonna talk Go some ahead. shit. It's education this too. We talk. That's what we like. This, this is not <laughs> knowledge. Do not. I'm a fucking moron. <laughs> like, don't listen to my bro science. But no, real shit. Like, I think it's because, man. Like, think about it like this in the sense that, so with people, we have like quadrupled just in the past. I don't know, I'd probably say 20 years of, like, the population and shit. Like, the population yeah. from 100 years ago or 40 years ago has dramatically changed. Not only that, but 50 years ago, we were a completely different species of human beings, bro. We were not this conscious. We were not involved in, like, being, like, the only sure. cognitive, I'll, our cognitive I'll, I'll, I'll consciousness was, it was has always been strong, and we are the apex predator of the planet, but it dramatically changed in the last 50 years. They kept a lot of people ignorant back in the day. Period, bro. Sure. Now things are so, uh, like, enlightened, man. Like, so many more people are, uh, you know, more in tune with how shit's going. Fitness and, like, eating well and, like, fucking what you put into your brain, what you consume, mm -hmm. it affects your, you know, your fucking, your chakras and shit. Like, what you are, bro. Like, your vibe is affected by what you consume. Right. So what I'm saying is I think that that's kind of a little bit off, but it goes back into it in the sense that we've literally just spread so much and so thin that something like that was bound to gain traction and bound to fucking come up in a certain way. It's kind of like with like Helter Skelter. Like people like, believe there will not be white people one day. That's probably true, bro. You're talking about the twin thing that's bound to happen. Yeah, the twin is okay, bound okay. to happen. But the Helter Skelter is completely different. It's like it's essentially that – there will be no white people one day because of everybody. Like, that's just what it is. Like, yeah, it's every, it, like everything is different now, man. Like, everything is changing in consciousness and how we are as people and shit. So inevitably, everybody will not just be one race. It will, or it won't be multiple races. It will be one race. You yeah, know what I mean? I mean? Sure. As like a, a bronze lot, a lot person or like whatever the fuck it may be. You know, I mean, aliens could hit, bro, and we could be fucking green tomorrow. Like, who knows, bro? But like, like. A lot more people. Are, a lot more people are, are integrating a lot more than together. But you know, that's what, I mean? what I'm saying, bro. And, and like, like that is going hell, to evolve yeah, us, back, and it has bro, back, evolved yeah, us bro, in like back tremendous in the, ways. Bro, back bro. in the day, our grandparents they ain't no way they were sitting in the hell same room. No. Hell no, it wouldn't be us. Hell no, bro. No, hell no. But no. now we are more conscious of trying to do better, at doing bad at the same time, and doing worse in some ways. Like when it comes to, you know, like the environment, shit like that. But like. For the most part, man, humans are the most, I'd say right now, we're the most technological advanced we've ever been. Um, not spiritually, but technology. This is the highest we've been with our technology, period. I For think sure. we are the smartest that we've been, not once again with spirituality, but in the sense of world, like world intelligence. You know, agree, like people are but very in tune with shit now, man. They are, but a lot of people. Uh, yeah. Exactly. It's yeah. plug us all in. But a lot of people are also too, like you know, afraid too. Yeah, afraid, that's true. Afraid, afraid of what, how powerful the internet is. That's real shit. You know what I mean? It to is get, to get into get like they're afraid to basically be like a, a spoof. It's a you gift and I mean? a curse, man. 
It really is and because that, it and, can do so. Oh, go ahead. So I'm sorry. And, and that that's what's going to take away, like you know what we were talking earlier, like maybe that hand to hand. Like why, like why is that CD still? It's it's, you know? it's 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 becoming obsolete, man. It's crazy. It's a dying breed. We are a dying it's breed crazy. essentially. Like, to sit down and have a conversation. To chill. Just you know, to kick but it, I'd bro. Rather text you I'd rather, I'd rather call you. Yeah. I'd rather FaceTime you. But to sit down face-to-face to, face to and chop chill it up. And really get you. Because here's my thing with people, bro. I don't like texting when I'm trying. If we just clown in, sending memes or just bullshitting and, mm-hmm. like, you know, I, I'm cool with that. We'll talk about something. But when I'm talking about real shit, I want to see you in your face, bro. I want to look you in your face so I can see... I'm not gonna misconstrue what the hell you're telling me on yeah, text. Yeah, because you can't do a text. For you sure. can't, bro. Yeah. Like you can, like you can't tell how they're approaching you, and it might be a misunderstanding, bro. I might have said something. You you might, took. Yeah, you might think that motherfucker got you fucked up. Exactly, bro. And that's yeah, why. With like me, that, bro. Hey, look, call me. Or let's talk in person, bro, because I'm not doing this text shit. <laughs> I'm cool, bro, because I can't. T- I can't look you in your eyes as a man and see how, how you you're doing? approaching yeah. this situation. And I'm like no tough guy shit, but just. I don't want to have a misunderstanding, especially with people I love and shit. For sure. I don't want to have no misunderstandings. I'm transparent, bro. What you see is what you get. I'm a no-nonsense type of motherfucker, and that's what it is. But the internet makes it think it, a motherfucker. It, it, it cuts just, that out. It cuts bro. it out. Yeah. Motherfuckers now ain't getting slapped in their shit. Like, we were when we were kids. Motherfuckers fighting, bro. Like, oh, people yeah. don't fight no more and yeah. shit. You don't get slapped in your shit, so you want to sit there and try to just be whoever you want to be. You want to sit there and try to act all tough and shit, but people aren't, aren't like... People aren't they're, on that, man. They're, they're like, either it's just not. They're, they're not acting no, because you you gotta watch what you say now with it. Yes, you really do. Cameras and shit. People, you gotta watch what, like, they, what you say. Cameras and then also you gotta shoot. think like everybody with this like you know with cameras and all that. And, and, and aside from that, like motherfuckers just want to shoot now, bro. People don't want to just like let's Probably. just go ahead and get it in. No, they and then shoot. tomorrow we'll be cool, or we can drink a beer right after this. Yeah. We can take a shot, baby. Yeah. We we'll go sing karaoke at the bar. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what we do after yeah. this. We can fight and get it done. But people don't want to do that, man. They rather just fucking put you in the ground, bro, because they're scared to just mm-hmm. get beat up. So I feel like that right there with the internet, man, it just changed everything so much. And it goes back into the music. Like, now, we ain't going to be burning CDs when we drop new shit. Oh, I'm going man. to for the old heads that fuck with me because they asked me to. Because right. I told them I'm dropping new music. Hey, cut me a CD. I was like, I got you, bro. Like, Hell yeah. You're my dog from way back. I know you got an old fucking 1988 Taurus in this bitch. You ain't got no Bluetooth. <laughs> you got a fucking, uh-uh. you got a cassette player in that bitch. So, you know, I'll do what I can for you. You feel me? But yeah, that's that's only for the old heads now, man. Now everything is social media and just kind of the luck of the draw. Kind of to is, be honest, bro. Good, like you're kind of just like throwing shit at the wall to see what sticks. Basically, that's literally where you're basically, at. Basically, like you, but, but, period. And hope, but you gotta just separate yourself, man. Sure, you know what I mean. You got, you got I'm it. I'm paraphrasing. You, I I didn't mean necessarily that. No, but, but you, I know, like you, generalized. Yeah. you know. But yeah, go ahead and say what you, you gotta. You gotta separate yourself in the game, and how you. So many motherfuckers dress the same, talk the same, walk the same, look the same. All got the same flow. The same flow, and it's just like, bro, there's just so much of that out there. It's like, and with the internet, how we talking, just like. You just the, carbon copies, bro. So it's like, how, it. how you going to separate yourself? That's why, like, how I rap, bro, I rap how I rap. I'm from Ohio, bro. Sure. I ain't from Atlanta. <coughs> I ain't from, not from New York. I'm not, you know, we're I'm from not, the Tri-State, You bro. know what I mean? And I mean, I'm it's a, what I'm we're repping. I'm going to put them where I'm putting on, bro. Period. And, and tell my story, because they ain't got the flavor that I got. Exactly, You know bro. what I mean? Because the thing is, with Appalachia, bro, like, we've got a different vibe. Like, motherfuckers are just nuts here, bro. Like, I don't even know how else to say it. Like, bro, if you know, you fucking know. Motherfuckers right. are just different around here. They are fucking buck wild for real. And like in a way that is just you can't explain it unless you know. You can't even describe the type of motherfuckers you'll meet around here. Or just <laughs> on the whole Appalachian Trail, bro. Man, being in the army and shit and like just traveling with some Your next vet? Yeah. Oh I hell yeah, man. Thanks. Shit, I appreciate uh, that. We go party and get drunk and shit. And there and I was I met some boys from Chillicothe, so you know what I mean? They're yeah. pretty much back home. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We'd always I mean always Believe that, last bro. We built different party. around here, bro. Yeah, that's for real, dude. Everyone else got that's to sleep. We're ready in your kitchen at 4 a.m. That's crazy. 100%, percent, bro. bro. Believe kitchen that. Life. Been there, bro. Sheesh. Been there. And that's crazy you say that, man, because that's the fucking truth. Really and people is. who watch this are going to know that because they're from around here, man. I got people who watch, like, different states and shit, but people who are close to this, they're going to feel what the fuck yeah. you just said, bro, for like, real. Even, like, we the last ones up. Even in high school. <laughs> Like That's for real. Actually, you know, we shoot up the Williamsburg for a party. We yeah. Always oh, moving and grooving. The most up there. Believe we that. Up you already know. Wow. Hitting, like, yeah. like, <laughs> Hitting vodka and you doing dark and clear, bro. Damn. We on the fucking whiskey and the vodka. Fuck it. You know. Bro, we started off. We, we, started, we, started, we, started, we, started, we started off on well, not Mad Dog. You, you ever, did you ever MD? Mad Dog? Yeah, 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 yeah. I started, uh, whenever 
I started really getting down and like, cause I, I started drinking early, bro. Like by 12 years old, the first time I got drunk. But like by the time I was 13, 14, I was on that Barton's Vodka with Donald Duck orange juice, baby. It was 99 cents at Food Fair on 29th Street. <laughs> baby, we was Still out here. Forgot. Still ain't forgot. Still ain't forgot. Bro, <laughs> you get a gallon for like 12 bucks, Damn. bro. Like, Tore up. We, bro, we'd, have, we'd be 30 people in my room. I ain't Man. fucking recording music, bro. Yeah. Turn it up. We drink. We would drink steals, bro. we drink right. steel reserve. Deuce deuces, baby. we get the tall boys. And, one, and hey, vodka one and Donald Duck orange juice, bro. That's how we was rocking for the whole high school career, bro. Man. Like, real That's shit. So we, we, we was we, out here. We was on that too, man. That that, vodka, that clear vodka, that cheap that cheap Mark. vodka, and, and and that plastic bottle, you know, like, literally makes man. me want to throw up and shit on myself yeah, at the same time just thinking about it. I don't it. drink. I don't drink clear like that no more. Real bro. talk. I don't. Tequila is about I it for me. At tequila, do you write, man? Uh, I don't even chase it with nothing. Hey, look, you look. Hey, look, you're not wrong because I, I have got a little, you know, a little silly uh, out here a couple times, but. If you don't chase it, man, and you don't throw no shit with it, just drink tequila and water, bro. I'm telling you, it's a good vibe, man. Yeah. It is. But then you want to start doing other shit, getting some pineapple yeah. juice maybe, or you want to start doing some, you know, some people like doing like, uh, you know, Pepsi or Mountain Dew or Coke or shit like that. Usually I'm just water, bro. Right. And I, I feel better the next day. It won't leave me hungover and shit. I've been on that know? Crown Apple. I meant to bring a bottle. Really? I've been, I meant to bring a bottle of Crown shit, Apple. It's all good over next here. time, baby. I try, time. I, you know, I'm trying to get Crown Apple to sponsor. You know, that's that's, awesome, that's that's trying to get my Crown. drink. You know, every every rapper Canadian, got their drink. So every rapper we're got their drink. Get some Canadian people on. You know, like we got we're to. to hit up some people we got to. So Crown Apple, anybody that got a plug in with them. Tell him your boy trying to holler at him. Dude, speaking of booze uh, and like relative to this, man, I would love to get Buffalo Trace to sponsor this. Like, I mean, obviously, I'm, you know, I'm you gotta speak it out. on the block. You got to you know speak it mean? out. Like, speak it into existence. And, 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 and I will. You feel me? But like right now, like it's not on that level. So like I need to, you know, you got to stay in your lane and strive to do better. So like I'm with you on that. But like Buffalo Trace, bro, is the oldest distillery in America. Oh, During real? Prohibition, uh, Buffalo Trace was still making booze for people. You could get, like, a medical card to get alcohol during the Prohibition. Like, for real. Damn. Buffalo Trace. It's in Kentucky. I've been to the distillery, dude. It's in Frankfurt. Damn. Straight up. Yeah. They stay, they, and it's and good, too, bro. They stay down, huh? Stay down, bro. Damn. Like, do it all. Stay down, bro. Like, real shit. I'd like to see a little documentary. That cool. would be tight, bro. Would, I don't you know, know. There might be one out they, there. They got to have one, bro. when they uh, stop. But it was, yeah, they were, they're the longest. 1775, bro. Damn. 1775 Damn. is when Buffalo Trace started. Damn. And it's still to this day. And I've been to the distillery, and it's fucking awesome. Like, for Damn. real. It's, it's like, cool as a fan for real. Like, it was fucking awesome, man. So now, let's go back to this. We got the show November 26th. Yeah, Let yeah. Let me pull up the address again. I think it was 301. 301 you, South 3rd Street, maybe? It's on South 3rd it's Street. It's on South 3rd. For sure. South 3rd so Street, Ironton, Ohio. Ironton, November Ohio. November 26th, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. All day. We got, we got food trucks food coming trucks, out, too. Baby. Fat Boy Q, come get you some of the best barbecue. You Absolutely. Come on, hey, taste so good, make you want to smack your real. mama. Shout out my dog, for real. I need to get him on here, too, bro. I was already yeah, talking to him. Yeah, I got to yeah, get, get my man on here, for real. For sure. Real shit, bro. You yeah, shout out to. Fat Boy Q for real. You got they shout doing their thing, man. Absolutely, they doing their thing. They really are crushing it, man. Like, shout out to them. And for the real. sides too. It ain't just you know the the yeah. The, bro, it ain't the, just it ain't just bro, the, the, the rib, meat, the ribs, you know? the pork, everything. It, you know, but the side slaps the side, too, yeah, bro. Absolutely, bro. You know, get you right. Absolutely. So now we're gonna get into a couple few questions I got from my man. We got on some tangents. Just want to thank everybody for tuning in to uh, to together FTR, and uh, make sure to subscribe. Shout make out, sure to like. Out. Make sure to comment, man. Uh, any guests that you would like to see have uh, that me have on, let me know about that too. Because I'm always trying to do new guests, you gotta be interesting. You can't just be no like bum. We ain't like interviewing homeless <laughs> people and shit. So like, you gotta have something. You gotta something do, you, you know, you gotta do something. I don't fuck with nobody that don't do nothing. You know, they don't play checkers. Mm -mm. You know, they don't they don't go on dates. They don't go out. You know, Come on now you gotta be doing something. It's a fuck, that's a fucking tangent from Joey Diaz, bro. That's one of my favorite fucking comedians for real, bro. He talks about people. He doesn't like he never wants to hang out with somebody that doesn't have a little edge to him. Yeah. Like I don't wanna if you ain't been through some shit, why are we what are we talking about? What are we gonna talk no, about? I, feel, I can't relate. What are we gonna talk about, bro? Like I what are relate. we gonna have a conversation about when we just different frequencies, man? Definitely. People on different frequencies, Definitely. bro. So first thing I got for you, my guy, is if you had to sacrifice one skill of yours in music, which one would it which one would you least like to see go? What's the one that you would hate to see go, bro, and why? That's a good question, brother. I think it like just had to be my like my my flavor, my whole 
style with it, how I approach it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so how so in what in more in more specific just, like flow writing process uh, just, the way you record your knowledge like more specific on your style what one would you hate to see go but you could still live with that I could, uh, you could still live with I don't know if I could live with anything anymore, <laughs> for real it'd well be, fuck it, it then it'd be, it'd be like you know like what's I'd the hate, one you'd I'd hate, hate the most I'd, I'd hate the most is just like how I word my words like my, my rhymes you're, you know, you're you, like my the little, way you write yeah the way I write you know like the way I, I can say something that can't no one else say absolutely it's true to me 100% now, you might feel that way you might yeah. cause we all kind of share the same <clears> you know but that's real can't no one write a certain rhyme. That's only a Matt Carter line. That's real. That's you real. Know what I mean, so I, I'd be the one like that. I'd hate to, you know, yeah. let go. You're gen. You're genuine. You know, like yeah. you, you like being authentic. Oh, you know, off, like, off top. And Got that's the be. thing is like, that's a fucking great one, man. For me personally, I'd probably say, I'd probably say, probably my flow, man, because I can pretty much flow any way. I can go fast. I can go slow. Mid chop. Mm. Half chop, fast chop, like I can pretty much go through all the flows. So if I lost that, man, I'd be. On that record, you showed me how you how you was flowing, bro. You know, yeah, on that that record, you was on your pocket in that flow, exactly, bro. bro. And and, and, and the thing was, I changed flows like six times in that song. Like first, I came in this way. After about four to six, then I switch it up, and then like maybe three or four after that, I switch it up. Yeah. Go for six, you know, and then you know back and forth, bro. So. I feel like my timing and my flow and my change up. I feel like the change up is probably the best way to put it. That'd be the one I would hate to lose, yeah. bro. You know what I mean? Like that. What would be the one you're like? Ah, I don't care if I lost it. Cause I, you know, like <laughs> that's tough. That's tough, bro. Cause it, like you said, it's the whole shit. Yeah. But being specific with it, I don't know, bro. I'd probably say, damn. I'd probably say I don't really. My need to record myself in the sense that, like, I never can have an engineer. I have, I'm a fucking piece of shit who like i'm that guy who has to hit the button for myself like yeah. i can't i would like to have an engineer but i'm so used to it bro yeah but th- what i like what i was gonna say is like i'd be cool with that though that'd be awesome like if i didn't have to do that if i could just let somebody else record I, hate, me. I hate doing that bro you hate doing I it hate see we're the exact that, opposite bro. i, I hate, love doing I hate it, hitting that record going to the mic running to the mic you know what and saying? Then you, get, you get about years. you get about four or five lines in fuck up or fuck something up, yeah. you gotta go right back <laughs> i'm like fuck that shit bro i'm, uh, I'm done recording this is what i tell and people I'll, I'll walk away from that bitch, bro. this is this is what i tell every single person that i ever encounter that is starting to make music or has been making music get an engineer Get an engineer because you don't want to do what I've done for hours. That's what I tell, it's terrible. I, 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 I tell Bruce, I'm like, bro, it's just problem solving the whole time. Straight up. It, it is. is. It and is then you're trying problem. to be focused on your craft. It's hard. But, like, I'm a fucking maniac, like, <laughs> ADHD. Like, my shit's off the chain. Like, I think it just works for me because of how my brain is wired in the sense that, like, a million things are going on in my brain 24-7, bro. Like, I'm all over the fucking place. Mm. And, like, I don't need to just focus on one thing. So, like, therefore, with the individuality of myself, it fucking... It just works for me, bro. I can I do. I, I flourish in chaos. Like I like chaos. <laughs> I'm the hot seat. I love it, bro. Like under pressure, hey, hey, I make a diamond. Bro, you, you, feel see, me? you see my girl laughing, bro? Because I'm the same fucking. You're way, the same. Bro. Way. I fucking Let's love go. it. I fucking love Let's it, bro. Go. Give me the pressure. I love it. Give, give me, me everything. Give me, and give me, me bro. time. Because and I'm gonna come through with it, bro. And the thing is, man, it, it, it brings the best out of me. It brings the best out of you and you grow as a human bro I, I can't i can't be the best if i'm comfortable no i can't bro i'm not, I'm not gonna be. be the best that ever did it no if i'm you think mj was out here just chilling no like, hey i'm it's, chilling it's all good you think ai was chilling it's all good no. troy aikman like Hell these motherfuckers no. like tom brady like uh, like dude people who aspire to do things you think you think prince was just chilling you gotta be comfortable being yeah, uncomfortable. like yeah bro and like that, you have like, to be uncomfortable more than you are comfortable to facts, grow as facts, a human, bro. Facts. And it's been, being an artist, though, that's one big, like, even, not even being an artist, but having, like, a, a passion. Human being in general, man, with but any have, hobby or passion. Yeah, a passion yeah, for something. period, bro. You know, like, my man Joey got the camera, bro. Like, you know, it probably was uncomfortable because some motherfuckers like, bro, you know, I don't be filmed. Yeah. You some know, people, maybe, like, bro, you know, my like, brother that was just here, Dustin, first couple times we did the podcast, bro, he just, he so you saw him, bro, he's chill, he cut yeah. up. As soon as we got on the camera, he was like, oh, shit. You it know? just it fucked with him. Like, it just changed his vibe. But we go to parties. We go out to the bars and shit. He's gravy. Yeah. But I don't know what it was. It was that little hump. He just got on an episode I'm about to release. Like, he, he, you know, he got over it. I made him. I was like, hey, motherfucker, we doing this. Like, you on here, bro. That, Period. But, You're my but, brother. But like, they had that passion for it to be like, yeah. you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. If that's it, what he did. It, I don't it care. Got I'm going to go ahead and do it. Period, bro. bro. That's, that's what I love, bro. That's what I love. That's real shit, man. And it's crazy because... 
even with me personally, man, like I just started coaching uh, my daughter's basketball team and shit. I've never coached yeah. in a league. Yeah. Like I've never done it. Like I played ball until the end of eighth grade, like right before I was about to be in ninth grade or whatever. So I played ball my whole life and I played after that, like at the Y with the homies and at the park. Mm. I've always played ball, so I know the game. But like, bro, this is out of my comfort zone. Like I'm just – all right, here we go. Let's do it. Like I know the drills. But like, why, but, but but why why not want to be challenged? Exactly. That's why I did it, bro. Why as not soon as be I was contacted, for not that's not exactly what I did. I can't say that. I need to say what I mean and mean what I say. Absolutely. I did it for my daughter because 100. nobody else volunteered. One hundred. And I got her period for life. That's my day one, bro. Like that's for my sure. girl. Like that's my got best to. friend. She's the only person on this earth that's allowed to check me on some real shit. Mm. Like really, like you know what I mean. Yeah. She's only ten years old, so she. It's not like. Adult but, shit, but but a, a kid gonna tell you the truth, bro. bro hey, that's, she, she that's how my little boy is, dude. She's bro. right on me, bro. And she's like, on my and, ass. And you like, be like, you know what, you're right. Yeah, I do, bro. Cause look, I used to be able to trick her, bro. I used to be able to like fuck with her. And my son's six, so I can yeah. still trick him a little bit and fuck with him. You know, like hoodwink him a little bit. Yeah, yeah. My son's not six. her. Yeah. She's like, no. Nah. She's like, oh my fucker. I know. You know, I know what you're doing. Yeah, like, yeah. You get you me slick. You ain't slick. Dad. You ain't slick, bro. She gets me every time, bro. And that's what's so awesome about it but uh you know aside from that that's why i'm coaching this team bro and i'm gonna do literally everything in my power i just changed my work schedule mm -hmm. i just changed my whole life these podcasts like i'm gonna be doing them on different days probably like but that's beautiful bro everything that's beautiful, bro. bro changing everything because her first year playing ball her dad's her coach man that's yeah. a great she'll never that's, forget that that's bro. what i'm saying you, you never know what comes with it mm -hmm. you yeah know, from, being, from just doing that uncomfortable Doing that uncomfortable, bro. That's, I was, you know, that look, that's what comes, you know, look what comes with it after. Yeah, you know what I mean, bro. Before like, we, we, like we, some people, like bro, for real, be hesitant. Like my man Joey, like he, like <coughs> where you at? And I said, this daddy, you know, and pulled he just up. pulled up, bro. Pulled up. My man just pulled up. Like that's that's up, love, bro. bro. Like, like that's like, awesome. But, yeah, with Straight up and, 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 with the yeah. camera, bro. He just pulled up. That's like, real G it's, shit. Like it's, for real, this is comfortable shit. Like this is what we're doing, and then to be like. But right before you came over here, it's like, bro, my dude needs someone that needs the editing and yeah. videos and doing all that. Yeah, yeah. Before. We were just talking about you, yeah. Each other, bro. For real, yeah. yeah. You know so I mean? just linked just like, up straight like that, dude. You know, and that's just like, crucial. That's like when you're always talking, like, man, I don't like attention and shit. Like, yeah. Dude, like. Everybody's very different. I get lost in the camera, though. Like, yeah, that's, that's the one. That's your one. Mad. Absolutely, <laughs> bro. I ran out with the football team on the field the other night. <laughs> Ironton? Hell yeah, that's what's up. Felt, yeah, but you felt good. You know you got the good shots, bro. Straight up, bro. You, you, beautiful. And that's, but that's what a lot of shit holds people back from doing that, bro. From getting over that hump, that hurdle, bro. Is a perception of their self, how they see their self. I can't do this. Yeah. It's like, damn, man. Like I'm only 29 years old. When have I decided in my life I can't do something? Period. I'm not. I, I, I'm doing it. I'm doing it, bro. Like I, did, hell or did, high water. When did bro. I convince myself at 29 oh, yeah, years that, old? Yeah, like, that, that, yeah. I can't do this. That's the thing, bro. I'm never gonna do that. There's there's no point in my life that I'm not gonna try to be uncomfortable, bro, and get into a zone that I've never been. Like period. And that's why, like I said, man, that fucking coaching shit. They was just like, all right, cool, do it. Obviously, you know, and like, I'm like, like, and, and dude, I'm 26 years old. Like, bro, these these, you know. Everybody who's involved in this stuff, you know, that like they're a lot older than me and stuff. So like, I'm really just going in uh -huh. to the deep waters, bro. Just like, right. all right, let's do this. Let's like, you know, do, let's like do let's do this. Bro. We're let's we're gonna do it. Do it. it is. Exactly, bro. Picked up a camera like a year and a half ago. Bro. Yeah, Damn. I've seen your. Sh you, you got cold shots, bro. Like you're yeah. nice with it, man. For real. Like, like, what seriously, do with it, bro. Gotta, I believe in myself. Absolutely, hundred percent. You got to. Now, yeah, yeah it's just, but, and undeniable, like we said. Crazy. Once you undeniable, baby. You gotta, you gotta that's walk it. that walk and talk that talk if you're gonna really try to do I, it, bro. I, I, Max, shout out to Max. I wasn't probably having this set up, man. That's what's up. I got into video work. I yeah. Doing He's a pusher, bro. And this man, he he, he plugged people right, in. He our, pushed like right, this man got drive. First, we started our first video on a little rinky dink thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like no doubt. Yeah, you already know. You, you know, got a nice, you got a nice set, that, man. You know, it. and we just grow, and we're gonna continue to keep growing. But here's the thing too, with all this, like especially with us doing this episode and like everything about to pop off, man. There's some real shit that we're about to get set up. That's really gonna, I mean, I'm excited. Coming for together, it, bro. bro. We're really about to make some big ass moves. Like I'm people aren't ready for, for the it, shit, man. Because we can really make some waves, Definitely. like as a team. And I got Definitely. a whole team behind me too, bro. Definitely. Like we all know, we know everybody, bro. Yeah. Coming with all this shit, I mean, we're gonna be unstoppable for real. That, and that, that's a force. Period. That's a force. Force to be reckoned I mean? with, man. For real. Growing with it and, and really just not and staying down and not not giving up because, bro, like you, you said, like you've been rapping since you were sixteen. Sixteen years old. Fourteen. I really. It's, I'm so glad you brought that up because I was literally about to start talking about some old school shit. Go yeah, ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, my man. All right, so he was saying that you you know you started on a rinky dink ass camera. Me and Mac were talking about before the episode that 
how we started, the trenches that we started in, bro. Like, the shit that we were doing, straight up, I'm going to be real with you, and I've told everybody this for years because it's real shit. The first song I ever recorded and actually put out was recorded on Turtle Beaches from an Xbox 360, bro. On everything the, the I love with the headset, bro. How the hell did you do that? The mic just hooked it in straight up, played it over the speakers. Okay, okay, okay. Played it over the speakers for the beat, bro. Didn't even have it plugged hey, in. Hey, you know, real shit. You when know it's crazy. I did the same thing. You oh, swear I swear to God, to God bro. My new camera. Let's go. Cameron, Cameron Miller. Yeah, That's bro. my guy. Cameron he had, get on here. That's my Cameron, dude. Cam, I seen this episode. Yeah, yeah. Cam's episode, my guy, bro. man. Cameron I love had Cam. It set up into like virtual DJ. A DJing program. Old school, bro. Let's fucking so, go. So, bro, like, if we had, like, say, me, you. He might have told me this, actually, bro. He might have talked he about this have. one time we were chilling. And, for bro, real. when he would record us, and everybody would come, I can I'm, I'm, I'm record, like, no, you can't, no, you can't. Well, my yeah. homie Centipede, he got my champ. You might know him. He worked over at, he'd been working at the mall. He used to work at Journeys. But, uh,. He's like, bro, I'm about to go to I'm about to go to cams and record. I yeah, like, bro, shut up. Ain't nobody recording, bro. Everybody <laughs> said they can record, bro. No, you're not. He said you ain't my, doing shit out dude, here. My dude bro. hit me up later on that day, like, bro, I just laid down three tracks. I was like, shut <laughs> up. I'm on my way. Turtle bro, beaches, it, let's go. It sounded like trash. Oh yeah, like the quality. But my not, shit was my, good. my dude had the flow. He was. Oh for real, I did. It was like on some shorty. I did not. He was on some shorty low beat. I that's forget, dope. like that's they dope. like they know maybe. Oh yeah, that's dope. And. I'm like, what, bro? This is what? You did this what? I'm coming over the next day. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. And Cameron awesome, recorded man. it. We all formed a little group, bro. We formed a group. Me, my nigga Champ, my nigga Tevin, Kwame Brown, you know, and and Cameron. We've never met. I met, I met maybe I met him once, but like we've, uh, you know, talked and shit, like yeah. music and shit, you know. That's my dog, bro. We did a collab tape. Yeah, I need H- him for H- sure, H- man. He's come on, too. He gonna come on. I told him about it today. Like, bro, I'm about to pop up on the podcast, bro. Pull Let's up. Let's go, you man. Know, you know. I know he shows love, bro. He's always, he, he shows so love we, on So we him. formed a group, bro, and back then we had to record a virtual DJ in a headset. <laughs> so we had this thing <laughs> called, one. we had this thing called One Take, bro. Bro, that's fucking great. So say you record your Verse. Yeah, I record my verse, and I gotta pass it to you while we're doing it because we can't stop and no, restart. We can stop it, but if I'm in my verse, mm-hmm. if I mess up, we can't delete. Oh damn! So if we delete, we're deleting me and your verse. So here's a very similar thing that happened. <laughs> you gotta perfect your verse, bro. Nintendo back in the day. Bro, Believe bro, that, bro. you gotta hit it. Yeah, you gotta be perfect. You can't even save it, bro. It, it's it's funny that you say that because it was very similar for me. The first way we recorded is actually with Azon too, man. He was there the first time I recorded. Shout out my nigga uh, Azon. Uh, yeah, what it do? Man. What it do, my nigga? So he, uh, so we were over there, man, and we had we played the uh, the song on the beats. We didn't even use a software. We recorded it on SoundCloud. How you can just upload audio? Yeah. That's how we did it, bro. Like Shut up. upload. Uh, ask him, bro. Straight you know, like that. Huh? Straight like that, bro. Straight on like Turtle that. Beaches. We don't care. We're gonna chilling. figure. We're gonna you, figure it look, out. Look, we, we literally had to pass the shit, bro. Like that's uh, how. That's why I was asking you if you had to do it too. We passed the joint to each other. Boom. Headset. Boom. Here you go. Now you got to record your shit. And the motherfucker had to record their shit, bro. Yeah. Like, straight up. And you got to kill it that time. Yeah. You we got to redo the whole song. You got to. And there was three of us recording, bro. Yeah. So it was like, all right, I'm going to do my verse. Drop the shit to him. He going to do his verse. Drop but, the shit to but him. But there were so like, many times where, like, someone would get it done and then... One homie would fuck it oh, up. Oh, just Rod ruin everything, and bro. Like, you know, it like, happens, bro. It happens. It, it happens. happens. That's part of the process. But then that let me grow, help me grow as an artist <clears throat> and be like, you know, more professional, you know. And you want to come and correct. Then work with you my know, dude AP. Correct. You know, Lil Browse, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. He works so fast. Yeah. He works so fast. He got some fast. hot tracks, bro. That motherfucker so has some nice him, tracks. We got the beat pulled up. My dude Bruce, Bruce made the beat, you know. And like, I'm with my shit, bro. I like making like a lot of shit where I ain't got a <clears throat> big overhead. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if I can plug one of my homies' beats <clears throat> the weekend, it sounds good. That's what happened with us, man. I, I had that beat and sent it to you, and then you dropped yeah. yours, and I dropped, or maybe I had mine already, but like, we had. No, you had you had yours. You I had mine on deck yeah. in the hook too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, bro, I like doing that shit too, setting it up for a motherfucker. Yeah. I was like, I'm just gonna hit my man so, up. Fuck so it. That's first shit. It working with AP showed me like you know how fast to work in like I'm paying hourly for studio. Yeah, you know what I mean. Ain't it no way different. I'm be, ain't no way I'm gonna be in that bitch for three hours. No, pay, you know? we work, we we working. One, we finished one record. No, so we're doing we, it. When, when an hour. When I come there, I'm gonna be the same. T- uh, shout out to my dude, uh, uh, Stevie J, bro. Uh, S. Dot Jekylls, bro. bro. That's, that's my, dog. my motherfucking that's my dog, dog, bro. Bro, hey, my dude got bars, the same, bro. The, uh, the, the, bars. Uh, the record that we did, bro. I hit him up and like when he been on the podcast too, bro. I got hit him up, get him back on too. Me and him that's had a my great dog. fucking shout episode. Out yeah, shout that's out, my shout guy. Out my me and him, me and him was at the car lot together. That's what's up. Yeah, that's my guy for real. Yeah. I, I fuck with him that's tough, my dude. man. Shout out, shout out. His oh, sister, Stevie his sister J. performing too at the show. Oh, for real? That's what's yeah, up, man. Yeah, yeah, bro. Good yeah, shit. November twenty sixth, yeah. eleven a.m. to midnight, baby. Yep. Um, 
So yeah, man. So I hit him. I was like, yeah, bro, I got this shit. I'm like, I went ahead and recorded mine and sent it to him. Bro, he came over here and did it in one take. I Didn't even look it. at his phone, bro. I like nothing, bro. Like I believe it. came straight in the studio. We sat down, chilled. He played it for me. The one that we did? He played that it. That shit for was cold. Wait, that was a soulful beat, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah the soulful beat. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. That's the one I sent him after okay. that I told him was his. Okay. I, okay. I, I, I gave him that beat. Oh, you know you what did? I mean? That's him, bro. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He just we life happened. We ain't yeah. been able to get linked up. But we back, bro. Like I'm yeah. hitting him up he, for this. Like he, for real. He be killing it, bro. And He's cold, bro. And like I said, we sat right here in this fucking room where we're in right now. Walked in, like I said, he knows uh, my baby mama and shit, you know, and all that. So, like, we just all, we came in here, me and him. Good vibes. Chill, good vibes, bro. Came in, boom, sat down. He's like, all right, I'm ready. I was like, all right, fuck it, let's go. So, I played the shit. Didn't even look at his phone, bro. Didn't nothing. Just straight up crushed it. He One take. It, huh? he, I believe and, it. I was like, you want to do it again? He's like, no, nah, that's cool. <laughs> I was like, hey, that's cold, it's bro. It's Stevie that cold, bro. He's, he's gangster, bro. He's smooth with it, bro. He's like, nah, bro. I'm cool, bro. I'm like, he, cool. He's like, no, nah, let's, let, down, he's like, let's, cool. let's start mixing it. He's like, yeah. let's just start listening. I was like, all right, cool. I so think he's, he used to live over here in Nashville, didn't he? He does. He lives He lives over here by me. Yeah, not too far from here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but man, yeah, I definitely gotta get him on another track too. But that soulful beat I sent him, that shit's cold too, yeah. man. But the song we did, like I said, he just dropped that motherfucker. I was like, damn, bro, I need to, I need to brush up my skills. I need to sharpen my that's katana, what, bro. What, like that's what AP showed me, bro. And, we, and, we, and we didn't even write to that record. You just, you wrote it together. Just, what just do you mean? Pe- we, we wrote it together. We like, wrote the hook. Yeah, yeah. We wrote the hook together. But then like what you know, like catching the flow and like piecing Got it together. Got you. You know, punching in. Straight up. And it's talk- like a, it's like a free verse. It's yeah. not a freestyle. It's a free verse. Yeah. You so know we what did I mean? that. We did that the whole record. That's and cold, did that in an hour. That's awesome, dude. We gonna drop that, bro. That's the next record. Let's go. That's the next bro. record. Look, gonna, and before you record. do it, you gotta come on here. We'll promote that bet, motherfucker. Bet, bet. And my dog, my dog, bro. Dirty Glass. Production shooting the video, Let's so we're gonna we, we got it going up. Bro, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm share too much details. Yeah, yeah, no, but this no. Is, we, we're gonna Say this is the next baby. record. This is the next good. record. This is the next that, record. But like I said, we're gonna get it all the way together. Next yeah, record, bro. Yeah, we're gonna we'll, we'll, we'll stay tapped in all that shit, man. Just got on the Joe Rogan show. On the Joe bro, Rogan dude, show. he's he's yeah, the guy that is on King of the Sting. Like he is the rapper. And was talking about him. He was like, he music. Yes. For, for King and the Sting, bro. Theo Vaughn and Brendan Schaub, bro. This dude is the real deal. Max got a song with him. Shout, like, this out, is shout out my shit. dude AP, Lil Browse. Check him out. We for got real, a record coming. YouTube. That's the next record coming. Straight up. You know, bro. Bruce produced the beat. That's fire, man. My shout out Bruce, Joe, My dog Joey, he, he going to shoot the video. That's going to be cold. We got a big play for the video. You going to do it around here? Bro, yeah, we, we doing the All City. Oh, shit. Let's go. City. Let's go. Yeah, it's over Let's here. go. It's over here in the A where we're shooting this. Bro, that's what's up, man. It's going it's, it's to be a movie. It's like, a movie. For, for real, for real. Like, know, we, ain't, we ain't really going to be in the video. That's what I'm talking about, movie. Okay. You know, you know, you know, like, you I already know. know, I already know. I was like, bro, we ain't gotta be, know. you know, like, we ain't gotta be in the video, do a typical <laughs> rap and shit. It could be on some, a- like, fucking Joyner Lucas or, like, uh, you know, how he'd have other people in his videos. Yeah, and, like, yeah acting out. Uh, Eminem and shit, he did it. Uh-huh. Fucking, I mean, a bunch of people have done it. And I, that, that's a fucking brilliant idea, bro. Yeah. Like, kudos to you and him for, you know, thinking Shout that out shit. my dog coming that's through and laying the verse. He, he came through, he hit me up, like, I'm about to be in the air, we doing a show. That's and, fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. He's just so busy. He's busy, bro. dude's killing it. That's that's like, fucking cold, bro. You you want to thought of the the other shit like the? Oh, yeah, the that's yeah, cold, bro. Yeah, Shout yeah, out yeah. to you for real, cause that's dope, man. Gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be fire, bro. That's dope. Automatic, bro. Just yeah, trust him, you know I trust my dog, bro. I believe I grow, that. That's solid. Yeah, I grow. Solid, I wanna, you know, like I want to grow with someone that's gonna work. You know, and that's, that's my dude down to work. He's he's the hardest working man in show business that's around what's here. That's up, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. That's kill. That's killer, dude. And like I said, I'm really excited to. We gotta we gotta integrate the community, man. Like we gotta really fucking got to, come brother. together and like with all of us working together, bro. Something's gonna pop. It's got to. Something's gonna it's pop. Got we need to. to build like a legit fucking team of killers, bro. Facts, facts. Like for real. Like we need to start that like ASAP because we got some talented ass people. We got some hard ass working people. Like talent, and hard work's just, all it takes. That's man. all it takes. That's all it takes. And the money will come after you know. Fuck the money, man. This would be this would be a good journey. You know what I'm saying? It's a good experience, bro. Like this would be fun. Like it's gonna be some real dope shit that's gonna come out of this too, bro. No doubt, no doubt. And y'all gonna see November twenty sixth. November twenty sixth, baby. Full band. Matt Carter yeah, out yeah, here with a full yeah, yeah. fucking band. Bro. Shout out to me. I shout out my dog. Shout out my dog Bruce. He yeah. on he on guitar. Shout out Bruce. Shout out my nigga Cameron. He Tell on the oh, bass. Oh, Cam's on the drums. He on the bass. Oh, he on the bass. Ooh, he on the that's bass. sick, man. My homie Jamari. Yeah. He on the keys. Shout that's out. Cold, shout man. out. And my fucking homie, a. My little homie Elijah. This is my dog. I ain't seen him since he was a kid. And For real. He on the drums and that's cold on the drums. Man. Yeah, so bro, we're going crazy dope. with it. We're going crazy. Yeah, speaking of making music, so how do you make music,
and then write the shit to it? Or do you just write bars and then put them to it? Or do you do a little bit of all of it? A little bit of all of it, for real. You don't have... It, me, me too, bro. I'm um, literally the same way. Bro, I, my, I, I, I wrote most of my dope shit while taking a dump, bro. Yeah. Like, for real. I wouldn't know beat just chilling, like, in my head, like... Man, that'd be crazy. Most of the time, I don't know. Most of the time, if I'm smoking and I don't hear a beat, but sometimes, yeah. like, I'll like I'll smoke and just like an idea will come. Like, yeah. I'll see something. Like, damn, I gotta write about this. Believe it's, that. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it'll hit. Sometimes it'll hit you. Yeah. Sometimes it'll just. It's it, it's not a hitting. It's more of a natural, just kind of happens. Yeah, because you know like, what I mean. Just like, damn, why ain't nobody said something about this? Yeah, and I that's, just, that's I might for say real. It, I'm, I'm gonna put that in one line, dude. That's why you know? I like. I didn't start reading books until I was a grown ass man. I've always hated reading, bro. But like after starting to read a lot, man, that shit helps. I need to read you. more. I need to bro, read more. Oh, it fucking helps you because not only are you escaping reality in the sense that, bro, you in that book, you you don't give a shit about nothing else, man. Yeah, like, you can really if you can really take the time. I've and read like, a few, but I, I need to read more. It's really tough at first to tune out other things. Mm-hmm. Like I read at work, you know what I mean. If I'm not, if I'm not, like if it's dead, I ain't got you know things going on, bro. I'm reading, you know I what I mean. That. Like, so but there's things going on. It's loud. You got to kind of you got to zone no, in. Yeah, no, no, it's tough. It's tough, bro. No, that's but tough. if you can, once you can do that, dude, I'm telling you, it'll change your whole <laughs> shit. This, I'm watching an interview with Warren Buffett. He mm-hmm. reads four hours every day. One of the richest men yeah. in the world. That's what I'm the saying. That's what I'm saying, bro. You got to make the time. That's real shit. You're right. You got to mim- mimic with these rich people. Dude. That's you know what what for mean? real, That's bro. Success. You got to follow the money. Yeah. You know what I mean? To a degree. You you really have to be out here doing it. And that's the thing is like reading, man. I'm telling you, bro. And even if you're not like, I would recommend since you don't like reading to read some quote unquote self-help things in the sense of like motivational things, bro. Like things that will inspire yeah. you to be a better person, yeah. better human, better man, better artist, better fill in the blank. You right. feel me? I like feel something like that would be a good start for you. I'll put you on, I'll put you on game. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I'll, I'll build some, you a I'll, book playlist. I've like, read, you know, you, read me a few books. The Alchemist. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The Alchemist is fire. Rich, rich Dad, Poor Dad. Yeah. And, uh, I've know, never rich, read that one actually. Yeah. So it's pretty dope. That's book, dope. But, you know, them in the past too, I, but uh, I ain't read a book bro, in about two years. You feel me? Like I was, I was a grown man when I started reading. Yeah. You know, and that took me a little time just to sit down and really you get know, into it. Yeah. It's hard, bro. Like, yeah. I was probably 19, 20 before I started reading. Like, actually read my first book type shit. And, uh, dude, it was like, took me a minute to read it. And not because I'm, you know, illiterate or anything. Or, like, I can't read fast. It was just hard to comprehend it. Like, in the sense of, like, retaining what you read. Yeah. Comprehension, bro, is a big thing about reading. And that's what will make you a better conversationalist and like you expand your vocabulary and like change who the fuck you are as a human bro so at first i'm like i'm not i'm really burning through them i'm taking my time to really comprehend each page and like be able to like almost recite it to somebody you know like like i could i could read a book to you by myself while i'm reading it without reading every word like paraphrasing shit getting taking my own comprehension from things and once you get over that hump, though, man, it's fucking fun, dude. Yeah. Like, it's fun. And there's some dope-ass books. Sometimes like, sometimes you just got to sit your ass down. You just got to <laughs> sit your ass down and be disciplined, sit your ass bro. Down. Disciplined, bro. That's the thing. People like discipline. Motherfuckers don't want to... They don't want to fucking sit there and, and take that time. They're like, yeah, fuck it. I could just watch... A, I could watch a new shit on Netflix. You know what I'm saying? I could hit yeah. up Hulu. I could hit up Prime, bro. And I'm guilty, too. I'm not sitting here trying to fucking speak on no high horse, bro. I'm the same motherfucker. I watch yeah. movies all the time. I watch cartoons all the time. But I'd still make Panther? sure. What is it? You see that new Black nah, Panther? man, I need to go fucking see yeah, it. I need for to go real. see it too. I need to. I, t- I Dude, told Black my Panther son. Black Panther is literally. Go. That's my son's favorite Avenger. First of all, mm. but aside from that, that standalone movie in the MCU and Doctor Strange are probably the top two. I think, in my opinion, Doctor like, Strange is fire, bro. Cold, the first one, like bro, the standalone is, movies, bro. I'm like, I'm like, cold. this this dude need more credit because he. Doctor Stephen Strange. He'll is fuck bad. up the whole universe, dude. Bro. He's so, dude. He's <laughs> badass in the fucking cartoons. He's awesome in the comics. Um, he's been in a bunch of shit. He was in uh, uh, the Avengers cartoons, like the other ones they had, the little shorts and all that shit. But also, he was in like OG cartoons too, bro. Yeah. With, with all the Marvel shit, like he's been around, bro. Spider Man, like my son really got me hip, hip on it, bro. Because yeah. I really wanted into the the Marvels and the super superheroes and shit, kid, bro. My brother, I, had, I was. He, my brother had me already on the wrestling, you know. Okay, yeah, you, you know, the sports, yeah, sports, yeah, sports and shit, shit like bro, that, you know. But then my See, son, he's like, Daddy, you gotta check out this dude. Yes. I'm like, Who's this dude? Hey, Black Panther's cold, you man. Know? He's so cold. He'll, it he'll, sucks Chadwick Boseman died, man. That's so fucking bro, that's sad. Like, who they, who, who they going to have playing? But then his sister. They, yeah, his sister. I was yeah. like, you know. Well, that's how it went in the comics, too. Oh, that's why did? they did that. Yeah, that's why they did that. Because, uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, you think, to, I, to reach, uh, you think uh, So you think Hollywood really was, Hollywood's really behind it? I think it was the easy way out. 
Yeah. Think about it. You know what I mean? They don't want to replace him as an actor. So like, I fuck it. We'll just have a sister do it because it went in the comics. I think it was uh, just an easy play. I don't think they really needed to have much think like much thought process behind it. Yeah. Um, I can't remember her name, but anyways, in the comics, yeah, uh, she takes over. But uh, dude, it's crazy. In the fucking comics, he is literally the richest person in the world. In mm, the MCU, yeah, or not? It wouldn't be MCU. It'd be Marvel. The yeah. Marvel universe. He is the richest individual, richer than Tony Stark by like. Literally what, what, thirty times richer the, than Tony the Stark. Shit they got there, the, Vibranium. Yeah, yeah. Vibranium. Uh, yeah. So like the Wakanda net worth, it's it, he's like it's it, it, in the sense of like, you know, uh, Elon Musk is rich, but you got motherfuckers who own countries. Yeah. Wakanda is a fucking country, yeah. bro. He owns a country. He's like the leader of the country, bro. And like the finances are essentially his. He's a king. So it's completely different money, bro. It's completely different money we're talking about, and he is literally in the in the Marvel universe. He is the most rich individual, straight up. Uh, T'Challa, you know what's his last name? I can't remember. T'Challa something. Because he killed the other dude in the, in the movie. Yeah, let, me see, let me see that later. Let me show that real quick. Oh yeah, you can go ahead. You can go ahead. I didn't know you was using it. My bad. I'm sorry. But what were you saying though? He killed what's killed Monger. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Michael B. Yeah, Jordan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Michael B. Jordan had to take uh, fucking therapy after that, man. Really? He had to take extensive therapy because he was literally. He felt like he lacked all emotions. Like he gave, he didn't give a shit at all anymore. Like he was like becoming that person. He says the only role that ever really got him like that, Killmonger. Damn. Damn. Yeah. You know, one of his. Uh, you ever watched The Wire? Yeah, dude, bro, The yeah, Wire. Bro. He was in when yeah. the, the kids in the projects. Yeah, bro. He yeah, played. He, play, he played in. He yeah. played. In. That was one of his first yeah. roles, man. The Wire, dude. I'm. Hey, right. look, I'm so glad you, you know now, The Wire, bro. bro. Yes. People don't know about The Wire, yes. and that dude, Stringer Bell. You know what I'm saying? Wild like Wire, uh, Idris Elba, bro. You had you had fucking uh, Avon Barksdale. He was the dude, and remember the Titans. Wasn't, it, wasn't they placed like Baltimore or something? It was in Baltimore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Baltimore, Maryland, bro. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. Shout out the Ravens. Go Ravens. You know we're doing our thing. We Is looking good team? this year. Yeah. Y'all are crushing yeah, right the now, flock. Bro. The we flock. Just, I just talked about that on the last episode because uh, my team's Cleveland, bro. Like they suck. I don't even give a fuck. But I'm, I'm loyal, bro. You know I, I mean, Cleveland, my team, and they're garbage, bro. I've been a loser my whole life. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck. I, they ain't gonna I mean, win shit. We'll see if Watson. If Watson get right. If he keep, if, if he, he come with this, yeah. I see he got another scandal up there, bro. Every time, bro. He's oh just my fucking shit. Watson, up. stay away from these massage parlors, <laughs> bro. Stay away from these hoes, man, because you're doing too much, bro. Too much. And uh, but the thing is, like I, we were just talking about, it, man. Baltimore, dude. I put them as one of the people I might see in the Super Bowl this year. Like, all to me. All Buffalo. What I say? I said. I said either. Uh, let's see. What I say? I can't even fucking remember. I said you can't throw out Tampa Bay either because Tom Brady just wins, bro. Like, that motherfucker, he just, he's doing shitty right now, but it don't matter, bro. Like, that dude. They say he's undefeated since the divorce. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're saying, no, man. I swear. Motherfucker's out here, you know. But it's crazy that just to think dude just wins. Like, motherfucker is just a winner. Some people yeah. are just winners. You're right about that. Dude just wins. You're right about like, that. same thing with MJ. Uh, you know, you can go down the list, bro. Some yeah. people... You know, they just win. Kobe, uh, you know. Some people got to learn to win. Straight up. That's yeah. for real. You ain't no loser, but you got to learn how to win. That's how it was with me in the music, man. Like, I wasn't naturally great at it at first. It took me some time, bro, to really, like, mm. hone my shit and really, like, study. Studying rappers, bro. Studying lyrics. Studying music in general because I get most of my inspiration from other genres, man. Like, I wrote folk songs and country songs I think that's, and shit, I think bro. That's like, because all I grew up on was rap and R&B, you know, and old school, bro. So to hear, yeah. like, like when I listen to other music, I get that's what really yes. gives me, like, a creative idea. Yes, straight like, up. If bro. I'm listening, like, because rap talks about so much shit, the same shit. Yeah. But, you know, we all grow up in this, you know, and talk about the same similar things. But it's like yeah. this other music that I listen like, like, you so know. So different, it's different. It's, it's different. It is bro. different. And, and you can get so much from it, man, because you don't typically hear it. Yeah. Like, bro, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'll bump, like, the Eagles and shit. That's one of my favorite bands of all time, man. And, like, dude, I'll take inspiration from them to write rap. Really? I swear to I God, it, bro, bro, on everything I, I love, it. man. I, I love it, man. Eagles, bro. It's so crazy, bro. So, look, I'm a, we're going to wrap this up with one last question, man. I got one last thing for okay. you. Okay. So, what class or teacher most impacted you in life growing up? Because mine, I got two, but like mine, he's one of my best friends to this day. He comes on the podcast all the time. That's my dog. Shout out Lambo. You feel me? Like, yeah. straight up. We be kicking it all the time, man. Dude been to my kids' birthdays, parties, and everything, like, since they was little. Like, that's my dude, you know? I don't want to go with the typical Miss Ross. 
You know, that's what everybody in Ironton, you know. But she did, Miss Ross did help, you know, a lot. She was an English teacher. Mm hmm. And I'm not. She used to her, she, put me on game, baby. She used to Give always, me her. always tell me like you're a Renaissance man, Mac. You're a Renaissance because I was always making music back Absolutely. then, right? And she'd tell me how powerful like That's music awesome. was for people back in the day. How like warriors would go to battle, Bro. and like they have the, the 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 people that making music, the Renaissance men, like they yeah. know they're making music, singing and giving them hope. Not only before on, then, but I always told her too. She's like, "What's your plan after school?" And I was like, "Like, I, I rap. Like, there ain't no rap school." So she always yeah. like challenged me like, w w w how are you going to make money off of it? How are you going to make a career out of it? Trying to get you on that business mind, yeah. like that business mind state. And, and, and I, trying and, to really and, get right. And really took it serious though. Yeah. Because like we had this little like Tiger Talk News thing. Mm -hmm. And I had a song and you know, like I knew then like, let me make a clean song to be able to get on here and be able to be able to play yeah. throughout the school. And you know, like that, that was yeah. dope to me for her to be able to like, you know, like, hey, you got this opportunity with her husband that ran the shit. Damn. You know, that's crazy, random bro. media company. That's crazy. And it was like, you know, if you can really write something like a good song. Because mm -hmm. that's the difference, man. It ain't about just having bars. You got to write a song, bro. Yeah. You got to write a song. Right. And she, like, she just challenged me to think after school and like take what, what I was saying serious. Yeah. You know, not that's just, real shit, you bro. know, so shout out, shout out, Miss Ross. I had, a, yeah. I had a nurse too, uh, Miss Annette. She was like real close to my family. Yeah, that's and, dope. That's always that's always love. She too, would man. always be on like I had to wear glasses, bro. I hate wearing glasses. My son just had to get them this year, bro. You know, he I hates hate it. it. As soon as he get home, take them right off, bro. It. As soon as he get to the car, he take you them know, off. He hates them, bro. Then, for real. But he's got stigmatism in his eye and shit. So. She was. She knew what kind of path I was on, and just being young and dumb. Yeah, you I know, feel it, bro. And no doubt. Making sure I was always. It, keeping my head straight, bro. It's just always cool because te because like teachers, man, they're the biggest influence in our life to a degree, man. Like besides like uncles and parents and shit like that, but like the teacher, that's the next level. And coaches, that's the biggest influence you have in your life, man. So shout out to them for real. With Mrs. Ross, you said. Yeah, Miss Ross, Miss Annette. Yeah. And, and shout out, shout out. To, I had to go. I had some tutors too, bro. I had to go yeah. to a military tutor. Shout out to them oh, really? too. That you know, you know, I was just young, acting stupid. So yeah. for all these young niggas that's out here toting guns and doing all this shit, it ain't cool. Nah, it ain't bro. cool seeing your family, you know, buried and you know you have to go out and carry that fucking that yeah, that coffin. Bear. You, you know, know what I mean? mean? That shit ain't yeah. cool. Being so for all these young fun. niggas that's watching these videos and you know looking up to like you know me and my niggas, we ain't we ain't moving like that. We ain't talking yeah. like that. We ain't getting down like that. We want to see some. I'd rather see get some money and win. Period, bro. You win. You know what I mean? Win, man, and build real. together. Together, FTR. Together, FTR, you know, baby. Shout let's out my dog, go. Telly. Shout we, out. You already time know. Coming. He got me hey, through here. We here. Straight up. Matt Carter and Nugs B. We got some. We about to make some songs, yeah, man. We about to make some fucking. We about to make some some moves, we're, we're, bro. We're, 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 we need to do a mixtape, for we're real. We're going to do one for the summer, though. Yeah, yeah. We, we, yeah, we need to do a tape, Let's do Let's do a six. For next summer. A six. A six track. Fuck, yeah, I'm down. Shit. Six, six, eight, ten, fifteen. I don't give a damn. You know me, bro. I'll work. You know what I mean? Let's do six. Six is good. I'm done with that. I'm and, down with that. That's good shit, man. And just, and just six slappers. Yeah, absolutely. Six slappers. All bangers, bro. Just me yeah. and you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, yeah, just yeah, duo yeah, shit. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, bro. Yeah, 100%. Sure. And also, uh, we need to make a compilation of the Tri State with all the dope artists, too, man. We need to set that up on some. Some real DJ Khaled Host, shit. Hosted by DJ Sounds Good. You feel me? Hey, for real, yeah. So, we'll Sounds link Good it in. Come here. You know, Joey here. You know, uh, my dog Kwame, he gonna come through. Period. So, you know, you got some episodes in lock, whatever you want to do, my nigga. We here. Know, baby. And you shout out know. to you. Appreciate you having me on here, say, bro. Hey, bro, I appreciate you. My dog. It's just been so fun. Yeah, Thank yeah. Thank you again for tuning in to, to Together FTR. I'm over here stuttering, man. I can't get my shit together. Come on now. Thank you for tuning in yeah. to Together FTR. Make sure to share. Make sure to subscribe on the YouTube channel and hit that bell so you get notified every time we drop a new episode. Thank you guys again. Have a blessed night. Hey, November 26th, too. November 26th, we going up. It's your boy, Matt Carter. We out.